this. Welcome <laughs> to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Tuesday, eh? Welcome to Pixel, yeah, who he, is being very, very naughty. He's in predator mode, man. He just wants to fuck <laughs> things up today. This is your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games. Hello, everyone. Yeah, he wants to get up on the Atari and um, just wander around and get negative attention. So if he's staring at holes in the wall and wants to claw them, it's like I was just saying to James he should buy a mouse and release it in the house to keep these cats happy. I was like, hmm, terrible idea. Not so no one sure recommends about it. That. But <laughs> so we are broadcasting right now. It's so good luck to us um, having ISP issues, um, especially last night while I was doing prep for this show. Um, but we'll get into that more. Uh, we've got three games. Yeah. Two oh, games wow. and Quotes a and thing. Games? Okay, cool. Uh, it's not really a game because it has no interaction, but I thought oh. I'd show it anyway because it's really, really interesting. I'm going to guess that's the SAM 2600. <laughs> I could be... <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> that's the SAM 2600 uh, by Rossum. That's, that's um, deductive reasoning right yeah, there. Yeah, you win. Surprise! Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes in it. Because <laughs> I assume Space Game at least has game in the title. I know yeah, Penal. Probably pretty safe with Space Game. And, and we know Penal. Versus yeah. a gray title, a gray screen with Sam 2600 and someone smiling. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's, <laughs> it's going to be special. It's going to be our... Some different, yeah. Um, and we're going to play Space Game, but Space Game 2K um, by Carl G. And then Penalt. Cool. by Carl G as well like Carl. and that was just coincidence um, because I had Space Game already scheduled and then Carl said hey I've got a new build of Penalt do you want it? I said hell yeah get let's it, get it and play it and uh, everything's better in space that's just it fact. is that's your rule uh, it seems to be holding steady the stream of course it's going to go bad when I say that so yeah. you never say everything's going awesome right now because that's when it goes bad Oh, Carl G is here. Excellent. So he can help us out with any questions that we might have. Um, he said he doesn't want to give any hints, but he could answer questions. He doesn't want to help us like progress in the game. Ah. But he can answer like technical questions or what he plans on doing Sounds good. with the game and things like that. Stream is good now. Don't say that. Don't say that. It's well, it is us. good now. Will it now, be good in the future? That's right. That's probably a safe thing Any, to say. Nobody knows. Hey. So I want to thank all the Twitch Howdy subscribers chai. that are down the side there that are in virtual floating space. Uh, Alnifer, Armscar, Code, Cafe Man, 2D, Captain Classic, Catalogs, Car Charles and Check, Dianoid, Dan, Avc, Drexel, Dr. Napalm, 75, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, John, E, Nitro, Johnny, WC, 23, Carl G, Kev, Kelly, Croco, 2600, Mark, Space, Inc., Metal Atari, 1969, Miss Command, MK, Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan, Strum, Packrat, VG, RC7, E, Repentless, VG, 6, Sweet, Socrates, 603, Spartan, 501, Spice, Where, Esmeralds, 2008, The Dean Train, 37, The Walsh, Many, 90, Thunkist, Tiki Dan K Track MD. And you could support the show and subscribe for free too and get your name on the list if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Perfect. And yeah, you support the show. I'd make a good auctioneer. Well, yeah, it's something to fall back on. <laughs> yeah, fall, I guess. That's the fallback profession for sure. It is. I'm like, oh, I got to be an auctioneer, I guess. And all this film thing is not working out. <laughs> yeah, and I wonder how one becomes an auctioneer. There must be, there, I can't imagine there's like Indeed posts <laughs> for like yeah. auctioneering. Do you, sh I need, do you just like create your audition tape and just yeah, sort of you, fire you, that off? You would to... definitely do that. You probably start small, small auctions. You build right. your way up to bigger auctions. I wonder if there's like who the best auctioneer in the world is. There's got to be like a dude rolling with six figures, just killing it, <laughs> you know. This who, fancy car pulls up to the auction, so... every ball of the... All the people around and trying to get pictures of him. No. <laughs> yeah, he's just he shows up and they're like, because it's got to be like like high level auctions that they're like, we're not gonna fuck around. We're gonna get yeah. we're gonna get like Jonathan. Like Jonathan's coming in. Because they're really they're hype men. Yeah. Right or hype women. Like they they get people excited You're... about the auction. Um, and what they... gives him the edge is they're like we notice more people buy shit when he does it. <laughs> that's it. That's that's the whole ticket. You know, it shakes it's everyone's go, hands. Boom, he knows. Boom, you, he knows you. everyone in the crowd. Like he knows that's who's right. got money. Who's just gonna tease? <laughs> He's got his plant man, the man who just fucking he'll knock the first things up. Yeah. You know, and they've got a deal that like yeah, if, if it ends up on you, it's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll make sure it gets diverted to someone else. You I know? don't know about that part of it. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's that the, might be a bit sketchy. That's the dirty side of auctioneering. <laughs> that is the seedy underbelly of auctioneering um 
Also, make sure you follow, subscribe, and click like on all the things Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you can keep up to date on what we're going to be playing and when we're going to be playing it. Um, so, let's talk a little bit about what's been going on yeah. with my connection and the Atari and everything like that. Um, so, I had an interesting discovery now that the uh, RGB VCS is back, my wow, six cool. switch, which is back. Um, I don't think you've seen it no well, it's i back. haven't yeah excellent it's it's fixed up by nathan strom so nathan. excited about it did an awesome job um and he's upgraded made it better than before it now has component output as well as oh, rgb geez. output so have multiple options um and that comes into factor today as well thank goodness it had that um so i was having issues running encore only games before um, they would just glitch out. Penalt is one of them. Yeah. Um, and um, so I couldn't play them properly, and we had to play them through emulator. Um, but now that this is back, I still can't play them <laughs> on, yeah. on the Harmony Encore, unfortunately. But I couldn't use Uno carts before on it either. But now Ooh. I can use Uno carts, and I can play Penalt on the Uno cart. So we'll be playing Penalt today. Oh. in full RGB glory through the Uno card. Yay! I uh, gifted my prime sud. <laughs> now I have more hair on my head, bigger biceps, more air in my lungs, and I play video games better than ever. Thanks, Zero Page. It's true. There's kind of like human gro growth hormone is kind of like a, like a three, <laughs> and this is like a seven in terms of your performance. It's, it's way Biceps. Better. Oh, and yeah. human growth hormone, you lose your hair with our sub... You're going to get more hair. So that's, that's right. <laughs> Maybe not in the places you want, but at least you'll get hair. Yeah, we can't guarantee it's going to be where you want, but you fucking, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, and, that's, and that's Darcy. That's Drexel. Um, regarding the console mod, I got no reply when the timing problem to the mod creator. That's a totally different subject, but there's like um, timing issues with um, color and um, pixel placement on, on the... RGB mod that goes into that and uh, Thomas has contacted the, the creator of the RGB mod we'll see if he ever answers back but he's probably like I'm done I'm, I'm, it's I'm, I made of, it and I'm done it's in the zone of hack am I wrong like is it kind of like you're sort of you're sort of hacking the the, the mm -hmm. hardware so it isn't necessarily like uh, an endorsed thing that like a company runs it seems it's like a guy who kind of does it it's an aftermarket add-on there we go yeah it's definitely not endorsed yeah but i mean the company they don't make those oh, anymore yeah. so they don't really care what you do to them yes. they're not going to harm sales and it's your product or it's well there's debate about that Ooh. too Ooh. um i mean that is yeah but there's a lot of things happening that they don't want you to alter your oh. own products like you don't own your tesla you can't like if you work on your Tesla, it 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 voids the warranty, and Damn. you can't bring it into them, and you can't get your money back if anything goes wrong. So oh, you touched it, it's over. And there's Welcome a lot of things to like the that. New world, yeah. 2020. Um, so there's a conflict between the Encore and the RGB mod, and also the S Video mod because I tried it on Al's system as well, and the Uno cart or the um, Encore games don't work the F S Video mod as well. But we have got uh, Fred Quimby, who created the Uno Kart, looking into that. And I've shipped him the S-Video machine that does not work to him. That's Al's. So he's going to be looking into that. And we'll be hearing a report back. And it might be just as easy as a firmware flash update to the Encore Kart. And it'll work. So there's some timing issue, probably. Um, yeah, so still holding steady. Um, today's music is even worse. Today's today's music, those yes, right. kids. Get the fuck off my lawn, kids. <laughs> what are you doing? So the box art. What, what kind of music do you folks listen to? I'd, I'd love to have some cool recommendations. I just listen to Spotify and uh, I'm kind of all over the place. Just like let a, it go. Well, no, I got make I make like a mixture of all kinds of things. I make a playlist every month with just all kinds of things that I like. Oh, okay. I like Spotify a lot because you can share it with people. So I'll, right. I'll always send out my like playlists and stuff. So if you guys have any recommendations for good music because i'm always looking for stuff i'd love to hear some 
some stuff in the chat because then I can add it to my list and oh, seem cool. There to we the go. <laughs> people. Hip to the kids. Yeah, well, also, like, dude, like, the fucking 80s are in. <laughs> seriously yeah. like 80s music is kind of like if you can find a good 80s track that is like legit nice that's <laughs> gonna get you some traction for sure yeah uh this is the music belong to you did you buy it, <laughs> did you buy it? um the box art for venture reloaded uh, an amazing uh transformative hack that um omega matrix did oh i think i played there this you one go. we may have i may have played it with you we did play it on the show uh al post venture reloaded is an extensive hack of the original atari 2600 game by atari age member omega matrix featuring a the full third level new treasure screen new graphics and text high score saving to atari vox save key new music room transitions title screen death sequence and more it pretty much he changed almost everything it's it's unbelievable this is a wonderful tribute to the original arcade game coming soon to the Atari Age Store. Here's a look at the Venture Reloaded, lovingly crafted by Nathan Strum. So that's Nathan Strum's artwork. He's a busy guy. Wow, good work, guys. Yeah, so it's really, really good upgrade to the original uh, 2600 version of um, Venture. And it's Venture Reloaded. This I think it's like 10 games or 12 games coming from... Atari age now that are uh, oh my god my my wallet ouch my wallet but that is definitely one I'll be buying as well yeah this pretty is much everything they're releasing totally I'm and this is I, me- I think I think I remember playing this one as a legit really fun game is this the one which has kind of like the one big screen with all the little things yeah. and then you go inside and you zoom in yeah that's the one and there's a little kind of puzzle mazes that you have to dodge around and shoot guys this yeah is a legit hard one. game too it took a, a like oh, I remember. Yeah barely being able to get past like the second or third level and i think you got quite far into it fairly far but i don't believe you ever beat no. it when i was on you might have beat it when maybe. i was off no I, ne- I haven't beat it but that'll be something you, i want to you got do. close i remember um maybe halfway three quarters yeah i got through it i don't know i don't want to overstate it was what not I did. A, it was not an easy and it's you're like a little dot i think in the outside the, screen yeah. and then inside you blow you up to dodge through and then you have a little arrow um and there's a time limit yeah it's a fun game man and somebody in the Atari Age forums beat it, and they posted. Oh, of course, posted it someone and, out there. Is... And they were like a huge fan of it, and they're like super excited that it's coming out for the twenty six hundred. Yeah, there's gonna be always a hero out there who <laughs> yeah. takes it farther than anyone else. Um, and we've got a fan of the show, Armscar Coder and supporter, Whoa. Twitch subscriber. He uh, sent in a picture of him wearing a shirt. His, this shirt. So let me get that up. Always love seeing people uh, wearing their shirts. So let's get that over so everybody else can see it. Oh, this is. Oh, this is very big. Let's see if I can make it smaller. There we go. So warning, flashing <laughs> images. Uh, James, I received my zero page homebrew t-shirt today and it is awesome. Although after I put it on, it started to flash purple and an overwhelming urge to deliver some packages. Weird. So he, he's um, he's a programmer. Yeah. That we played his game on the show and it's all about delivering packages. So that's, yeah. that's the joke. I'm not getting the connection between and I purple and delivering packages. I promise you delivering that packages. these shirts are flicker free. Although in this yes. advertisement, <laughs> it seems that they flicker. They don't. We yeah. promise you just got to like put your t-shirt on at 60 frames per second. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> and you'll have no make flicker sure you, on your shirt. Make sure you watch your t-shirt at 60 frames frames a second and you'll that's be that's right and um uh we we don't know what's going on here i think it's probably <laughs> something happened in the delivery of the package <laughs> yeah it's, it's, he's it got a little bit he's flashing us yeah um i had to look up whether like he did two different exposures of the same shirt he actually bought two different purples yeah that's what oh. and, and if you look i had to like take screenshots and compare them the wrinkles are different uh, in the two shirts. So that is actually two different shirts. Uh, he likes purple. And also two different exposures as well. That's right. Oh. Possibly also, this auto is, exposure. What, what I would describe the shot is, first and foremost, is majestic. <laughs> it is. It's Look a very landscape. majestic space. It conjures up feelings of the frontier. <laughs> Pioneering. It's, it's great shit. I'm so yeah. into it. Yeah. So thank you for sending that in. If you want to send in your photos, you can send them to james at zeropagehomebrew.com or in the Atari Age forums, and uh, yeah, we'll take a look at it. I know that uh, Miss Command asked where to send uh, pictures of shirts last episode, so 
Awesome, awesome. And we have the new shirt. Did you see the new shirt? No, I didn't. Oh, oh well, show we'll us the new. Show it again. <laughs> Turn on phosphor to reduce flicker. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Have some, have some uh, tra phosphor trail off. So let's take a look. Yeah. I mean, I showed this last time, but we'll just look let's at it. Let's check really it out. I haven't seen this. Really quickly here. Oh, shit. So this is designed by, again, Nathan Strum <laughs> and Thomas Yench. Look at all the colors, too. I didn't realize there's so many options. And there's oh, male there's and female. So and there's options. like yeah. 5XL all the way down to small. It's amazing. Yeah. Tri-blend. V-neck. Ringer. Oh, Dude, what is, I'd be... What is Ringer? Oh, okay. Kind of classic 70s look to if it. If it were me, I'd go the V. That's definitely... Oh, really? Definitely the V-neck. I just can't. I'm a real V-neck. You can see even here, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. Let's see Do they the not show the like V-neck? Oh. There you go. Yeah, there we that's go. That's a pretty deep... And I'd probably like go a with... medium deep. I'd go with, like, the light gray. Let's see that like one. That one? It has to render it. It's oh, kind yeah. of funny. Let's see. It Vintage Heather. <laughs> there you go. Um, so... It says, Rage Reset. Game not going well. Yeah, time see, to slam down that reset button and start over. Stuff. Why waste your time when you've lost a life in the first 10 seconds? And you're going for your personal best. Designed by Nathan Strom and Thomas Yanch. And those scratch marks are inspired by Pixel. Just trying to reset the system during game like... play. Yeah. So it looks pretty good. You can tell it's two different pictures if you look at the clouds above them change I, I mean he could have taken two different pictures at different times of the same f shirt different exposures it's possible or did something in photoshop but no it's actually but no you're right that's some clever yeah. um sherlock holmesing Deduction Danny ABC. but uh yep yeah, so i i got a copy of this shirt for me it'll come here in two months i'm sure <laughs> it'll take, yeah it'll take, take it. forever but that's it's awesome though super awesome looking i really love that um so we're gonna get into the first game Smiley gray face. Yeah, and it is uh, Sam. But Ooh. first, we're going to do a little history lesson on it. Because it's kind of... Um, blue. It's blue. <laughs> uh, it's kind of... Uh, it's it's kind of based off of old speech synthesizing uh, programs, and I had this for my Commodore, oh, wow. Commodore 64. Some vocording. Yeah. Um <laughs> Let's see, uh, what does he call it? Phenomes. It's it's based all on phenomes, which is the different sounds yeah. humans can make. Like O, A, E, P, M, like all of those and then strung together into words. Yeah, and there's lyrical phenomes and percussive phenomes. Oh, P, 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 C, T are percussive. And then uh, uh, lyrical are A, uh, E, A, uh, because they're more vowels. Words. Yeah. Yeah. Except Which why? you know that because microphones. He's, that's why we have pop filters. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to sum. If you don't have a pop filter, you have to speak without P's, T's, and K's, which is a really difficult a very poetry difficult. slam. Yes, like the Atari Box. Very, very similar. But this is done in software. And that's why this is mm -hmm. very interesting. And done in 4K, which is even more interesting. So this is what the one made for the Atari 400 slash 800, like old school. Atari computer and C64 computer sounded like. Hello, Wikipedia. Oh my god. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, Sorry, headphone ears. users. Sorry about that. So, yeah, that's what it sounded like. Fairly clear. So, there I've you heard go. some musicians use this kind of effects on to like like as like teasers for songs and like oh, things like yeah. that. I've heard a similar stuff because it's so iconic. It's like really brings you back to a certain era. Yeah, it it, it marks like that early '80s maybe even late 70s sound. Um, software out of Mac Mouth, or SAM, is a speech synthesis program developed by Mark Barton and sold by Don't Ask Software. The program was released Ooh. for the Atari 8-bit family. <laughs> Apple II and Commodore 64 released in 1982 is the first, one of the first commercial all-software voice synthesis programs. So 
it didn't come on a cartridge like you loaded it into memory like um and the one that's on the atari vox is i get it I, I guess it's software based as well but it's a hardware add-on so this one when was this made this was uh 82 this one you know what's astounding is to think in basically 40 years how much the replication of the human voice has evolved mm. like to think about siri and like our ability to like really yes. like synthesize the voice like it's amazing to think that was it's... less than 40 years i mean go that yeah. this was the best or some of the best you could do was voice you know synthesis and now you could yeah. probably generate entire you know, paragraphs that would be significantly better. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I watched a video not too long ago on, on replication of people's, like, voices, like imitating somebody's voice. Yeah. Not just a voice, a specific voice. It was incredible yeah there's a there's a i don't remember the website but there's a website that you can actually do it you can speak into it and then um it will deep fakes yeah, yeah deep for, fakes. for videos that's right man and, and that's... now for audio too i think i saw that on um Ly uh, linus's channel and remember. the thing then and the deal about that is that the more of a sample they have the better yes so, like podcasters who've made like hundreds of episodes oh, yeah it's <laughs> very easy to do it Atari Vox Plus. Ready. Okay. So there's the Atari Vox. And there's Atari. And there's Atari. So yeah, you heard the Atari Vox there. Alexa for 2600. Um, so let's take a look at this. Alexa, tell Al Nilifer he's awesome. Or she. <laughs> <laughs> They're awesome. It's the way to do it. So let's take a look at Sam for the 2600. Why? Why, 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 why? Was this uh, being held up? I'm having so much trouble today. Some days are easy, other days are not. Atari Fox Plus. I think we're already in we the go. age of disinformation, sadly. Oh, fully entrenched. Entering, I would sadly disagree. So, so this is just going to start talking, so... Um, make sure we're good here. So this is done in 4K. Wow. And this is just his first iteration of it. Um, so it ran through like a bunch of things. It was talking about Steve Jobs. It does a bunch of garbage afterwards. <laughs> I would describe this as fairly nightmarish. <laughs> this is this is not Especially something I I'd want to be just staring at me before bed. Wow. <laughs> It does sound it does sound amazing though, but it's it's pretty good, especially the fact that it's displaying video at the same time. I know a lot of um, speech that has been put into twenty six hundred games. The screen blanks, um, or even samples. Never mind trying to do it on the fly. Um, so it's got a full screen uh, playfield face there, which is so amazing. So he says first attempt at a Sam Macintosh speech synthesizer for the 2600. Let me know if this is interesting or useful to anyone and I will spend some time to clean it up and create tooling to make it more usable. 
Um, yeah, if you leave it running for long enough, it just... I don't know what it's doing. I think it might be going into memory and just started, like, saying random things based on, like, ones and zeros. aliens from another dimension are channeling their consciousness into your Atari and generating a language that we cannot understand that is influencing <laughs> our mind very quickly. I think so. Or it's just random uh, shit. Yeah. Whichever I, reality you want to live in. <laughs> I let it run for about a half an hour. It never... Re Ooh, dude, that's some dark arts right there. I wouldn't do that. It, yeah, it could say anything. Could who knows what it invoke demons who fucking knows what's happening <laughs> uh it never looped back around to its first original speech which i thought it would because it's like what is it doing now like, <laughs> it may you know recite the most amazing sonnet eventually like that's ever been written yeah or the killing joke that you know you just laugh so hard right. you die <laughs> but the fact that this is in 4k it People seems pretty be... happy consistently, though. Uh, yeah. Like, there's no frown. No. Um, you could use this in a game because yeah. it would be able to reside in a 4K bank and you could call on it at any time in your game wow. to do speech in your game. And you could substitute the face for mm -hmm. whatever, a static screen or who, who knows what. I don't know if it's possible to integrate it to, like, a fast action arcade type game, whether there's enough um timing left but there's definitely enough time to do at least a full screen play field update but there's potential once in a while. yeah um so that that's all i have on this like <laughs> th this is it it's it is pretty amazing and the potential is there and pretty terrifying <laughs> very terrifying <laughs> um and i'm sure he'll be able to make the speech a little bit more clear it's like mm, a little challenging to understand so if Everybody else, that you can download it in the Atari Age forums and take a listen for yourself. It is calculating on the fly. Wow. On the C64, Space Taxi paused the screen action when there was a voice, and that worked okay. Yeah, exactly. And you could do that as well. Yeah. Pause, pause the action or go to a blank screen as well to have this. Um, but, I mean, this has enough for just playfield, and it, it's um, mirrored playfield. Oh. So you don't have to draw the second half of the screen. That it's, makes it's sense. It's just you draw the one half. You so. want it. That's, it's symmetrical anyways. So. Yeah. So there's only two updates for every row. So I don't know if you can draw uh, sprites and everything else on that. But anyway, I thought I would show that on the show because it's pretty damn Wow, cool. that's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm. So we're going to go into Ready. Space Taxi by Carl G. And, um, um, oh, so which, this this guy right here? Uh, yeah. Today's date, yep. Yeah. Space game, right? Space game. Did I say space taxi? Space game. I think space someone, taxi said, on the brain. someone said, no, he said space taxi, pause the action. Yeah. So he's talking about it. I love space taxi, and there's been a couple attempts to make it, so there's, is there's, it, it's there's not, hope. Is it the bin? No, it's this it's one. It's the bin. Oh. The other one's the director. Space. Space game, 2K. Okay, so this is a frontier. kind of a, a reduced version of his full released game called Space Game. Ah, cool. So he wanted to try and squish it down to a playable game that fit in a 2K um, cartridge or a 2K binary. And he's even got a title screen wow. for a 2K game. That's impressive to have a title screen as well. It's not a lot of room. Um, so it's pretty much shoot things, don't get shot. Cool. So you can jump right into it while I... And then you have lives at the bottom. Oh, I... oh God. And he's done a pretty good job of replicating. I haven't played games like this in a while. <laughs> yeah, it's some shoot shooters, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like... There you go. And there is a, an end to this game, actually. And it's based on the little dots at the top. Oh. oh. Well, like, I'm so out of practice. Oh, my God. I'm so out of practice out of way. with this kind of sh stuff. That's it. Rip. Oh, oh, you lost all your lives. Yeah. There you go. Lost them all in a row. I just haven't been playing games at all recently. Uh, too much work and not enough games. Yeah, which is okay. <laughs> just doing yeah. other things. Uh, so this was first posted January 20th, 2019. Uh, this builds from February 1st, 2020. And um, it was actually nominated last year in the Atari Homebrew Awards for Best Homebrew. And best homebrew under 4K. Um, 
Other games by Carl G. Cannons, Toy Shop Terminator, Space Game, Space Game 2K as well, Penult, RC Sumo Bots, and Robot Tag. Pretty impressive what can be done in 2K. Oh yeah, for sure. Power-ups, wave transition, bosses, bonus waves, some of the enemies, some of the sounds were sacrificed. Uh, so There's he always said, a sacrifice. Oh, you know, there is when you're going. Oh, you made it to sixth, sixth uh, level now. Better than failing instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Way better. Uh, Gotta set that bar low so that you can get your personal best. Uh, I said, I'm not sure if this would be an interest to anyone besides myself, but I thought I'd post it just in case. This is my first completed standalone assembly Ugh. game. Oh, it was. Rip. Oh, you died. You made it to. The second level? The red level. I'd say my skills in these kinds of games have never been high, though. Oh, shooters? Even to begin yeah. with, yeah. Uh, because the original Space game is a 32K game, and I failed at almost all of those that 32K, because I was intrigued by the idea of making a game that would fit into a standard QR code, uh, because I wanted to my hone my assembly skills, I challenged myself to see what subset of Space game I could fit into 2K. Since Whoa. that's only 1 16th the original size, there was a lot that had to go off. Uh, off the bat. All of the cool music Maggie composed. Special screens like the title screen, wave screens, boss battles, mini games between waves, etc. So it's just straight shooters. There's no bosses in this one. There we go. Uh, optimizing code and data to this level was an interesting exercise for me. I managed to fit in nine of the 14 non-boss aliens along with all their special abilities. Uh... Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fit power-ups, which is a really big deal in the original game. He has like six or seven or eight different power-ups, and not all good power-ups either, which is which is interesting because the power-ups come down and you're like, should I get the power-up or so, so much not? more? It's a much kind of scale back. It's like the, this is like the mobile version, you know? Exactly, <laughs> the mobile version of the game. More of a programming challenge for Carl G than anything else. Oh, made it to level. Red, one, green, two. Uh, so I couldn't fit the six-digit score routine along with Jeez, graphics data. Man. Ooh, new ones. They look like they have um, face masks on. I don't... Oh, you have to shoot them a couple times. Oh, you have to shoot them twice in a row. So you shoot them when they're purple. Whew! <laughs> toughy. Um, so I made a playfield based scoring system where each alien group defeated scores one green bar. If you get over eight bars, then they're exchanged for a red bar. So it's a uh, eight bit scoring system, which makes it easier to oh work on a computer. Whoa! Oh, it's oh, fast geez, now. Man, this is getting, it's getting intense, is the feeling. Yeah. Snowflake on eyeballs! Edge. <laughs> this is not like eyeballs. This is like gas mask monkey. So if you have eight green and red bars, you win the game. Oh. Well, you haven't died yet, so that's really good. It's getting better. These gas mask monkeys, man. Like but I think that thing young. goes for you. That little dot. Oh, it and does. Gets, and then you. That's like a timer, right? It sure is. Man, the gas mask monkeys are rough. <laughs> Uh, anyway, here's the game along with the source oh, code in case... Ooh, new one, new guys. Space squids, man. Oh, they're the worst. Better than a gas mask monkey, though. Yeah, you only have to hit him once. Nice. Um, Carl G says, um, I'm, I'm unlikely to have carts made, but it's okay in, in case anyone else wants to make one for their own personal use. Wait a bit, though. I may try to sneak in more into my rain, remaining space. So that that's an interesting thing. On Atari Age... You can have your own cartridges made. Wow. Um, if you make a game, you can just say to Al, here's my binary. It's my game. I want to put on a cartridge. He'll, I think he'll even make a label for you. Wow. Put it on and ship you back your game on a cartridge. And he'll also put on cartridges games of other people if you have permission. Ugh. Get out of the way. <laughs> Almost died. Gas mask monkeys are fucking rough. Oh, max uh -oh. power 68,000 is now following. Thank you for following. Thank you for enjoying. Someday you'll get to 69,000. That's right. One day. You will get to max power. That's right. <laughs> or is that max power? Um, so, yeah. So, he gives permission for anybody to put this game on cartridge. So, if you Whoa. wanted to actually have this game 
on a cartridge, you would. Did just... they go back? Oh, a new one. Oh my god, this is like. Oh, they're moving fast. Oh no, they replicate. Oh boy. This yeah, is like a fast. fucking drill. A dr what, do we, what do we call this? A fucking a drill, and what would you call this? A spider? No. Uh, grasshopper? Uh, the, 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 the drilling oh, no. grasshopper, man. The drilling grass. Oh. Jesus. Okay, so my turn. Yeah, I can do much better. Oh, I don't know. You did pretty good. got like three of those Three things. out of eight. Oh. So what's that, 32? Something like that? Uh, no. Well, it's like eight. You have to multiply each red one 20. by eight. So you have eight threes, 24, plus oh. how many green you have? Like a yeah. couple? Oh, so yeah, so just... you'd like level 26? Yeah, there we go. In human speak? Hey, 3.1. 3.1. Ah, so Thanks, you had dude. one extra. So it was uh, 25, level 25. And human binary. Yeah. No, human uh, um, decimal, sorry. Well, um. Because we have 10 fingers. One of the reasons why I know so much about um, linguistic stuff is that I grew up with this illness called low phonological awareness. Oh, okay. And what that is, is I couldn't hear the difference between phonemes. Oh, what um, kinds? Uh, all the vowels sound all the same. All of the vowels. Wow. So it took me a long time to un to be able to speak. Um, oh. I didn't actually really like. I wasn't able to speak properly until I was maybe seven or eight, and I didn't learn how to read until I was almost like nine, nine, nine or ten, something like that. Oh wow. So it's been a long time, like because then everything sounded like 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 a like kind of like a like a wah, like all they all sound the same like that. Yeah. So I would like read body language and stuff like that. Um, uh, with people and I didn't speak that much when I was very little um, because it was hard to and then it was always scary to open your mouth and it, so for, I, w I had speech therapy forever and because um, they thought the problem was my speech but actually the problem was my hearing and when they figured out my hearing they were able to do some work I didn't need hearing aids but there's like um, drills and exercises you can do to help hear the differences and it's oh, okay. possible that I still don't fully <laughs> hear them <laughs> so wasn't it uh, did they conclusively know that it's not a brain issue it's more of a hearing issue yeah they definitely figured out that it was a hearing thing because yeah. you know everything else was totally fine because if i had um if i like they gave me iq tests and all kinds of stuff and they were like well you know he's he's understanding and he can and i could engage in some conversations pretty well I, like i understood what people were saying to me most of the time but it was just hard to like figure out like like for example writing took me forever mm. and reading took me forever too and once I got it, I got it. And then by the time I was a teenager, it didn't make a difference. But I had to learn a lot growing up. It's interesting up. that reading and writing had you had difficulties with when it was a hearing problem. Yeah, well, it's just hard to figure out like what um, what what words kind of connect together um, if you can't really tell the difference between vowels. Mm. So it was, it was interesting. It was quite the quite the experience. And then I was always in like these classes with with other kids who were like had some severe um, learning disabilities. Okay. So it was really interesting. It was kind of rough being around them in a way because I was always around um, kids who were like clearly cognitively impaired. Right. And so a lot of them were taking. And also, but like some of my friends had like stutters and things like that too. Right. Um, but it was always sad because they would have to go to like the library in like elementary school to sort of like hang out. Um, and and it was kind of like it, it wasn't you weren't part of the popular group if you were. <laughs> right. in the Right. speech therapy club because you were automatically segregated from everyone else yeah and then um and then so which is weird but i think that like um but i think like growing up like my understanding of like people and emotions and things like that were very high because i was i had to learn how to read people and listen and i listened a lot right um but but then at a certain point hearing was it was like but it was scary to open my mouth because and i was mm. when i was studying linguistics they said actually that a huge part of language acquisition comes to hearing and people who are born deaf really struggle because especially in those early infancy years um, it's really important that you're hearing language right yeah so your brain apparently wires differently depending on things so you know it's just interesting that the hands were dealt in life you know and then when you and it kind of levels out I think when you're like well, by the time you're a teenager you're just everyone's pretty much the same but it's wild yeah. in those early elementary years like the differences between people it is yeah that's that's really interesting. I'm, well, I'm really happy you were able to overcome <laughs> overcome out. that because that's 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 a rough go. 
yeah, it was good that I figured out like how to do it in the end. Um, but it was also it was it was just neat though because I think I spent a lot of time like um, as a little kid imagining things and a lot of time like in my own head and definitely an introvert because yeah you're not you're you know I didn't really you know do much. So did everything sound? Do you remember what everything sounded like? Did they all sound like A's or O's or I's or were there some it was weird always, like, mix? It was always blended together. Yeah, owie, owie, yeah totally. You know, like it just blends but i would but i would understand how people were doing based off of like reading them like i would read i would read how someone was doing rather than like their language wow wow uh permission yes permission required very unlike that other guy nah max out <laughs> 68040 wheels of fire i think i gave cart permission in that topic yes it's in the yeah, topic man. so you so you could point to that topic for al and it's like there it is there's permission Every new red pip, one new enemy gets introduced. Ah, and an existing long no, no longer appears. So there's a rotation of eight. I guess it would be eight and then eight, 16 total characters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I did dot bad for Hell about, yeah. about halfway, actually. Exactly halfway. Yeah, actually. man. And you're much better at, at these kinds of games than me because well, so much more practice. The, I just love them. That's, yeah. I mean, if you love a game, you're going to play it more. Therefore, you get better. That's right. Now we have to switch to the Uno cart. Uno. That is what plays these games. Oh, I've never seen this before. Ah. Because well, you've never been able to use it <laughs> really <laughs> properly. So you can see there's all the uh, games with the Encore issue. So that I can play all of these perfectly on the Uno cart. Wow. So now I do, I am able to play all the games again, which was very frustrating that I couldn't. Um, so, Penalt. Cool stuff. Oh, let's switch over to panel graphics. I didn't even. And there's the title screen with the music. And, okay, for a little explanation, I played this yesterday for four hours. Yeah? To get up to this point with Tanya. We did a broadcast, which kind of didn't work because of the, the thing. The connection issues, which are still ongoing. Um, Plus, Card has a nicer menu. I like the little, I mean, they both have their pluses and minuses. You can't get the full title on the plus card, as far as I know. You only get the first eight characters. Um, on the uh, Harmony card, you can hold down the button, and it'll scroll the full title. Um, and it's got the rainbow at the top with the Harmony. Um, I don't know everything about the plus card, because I haven't been able to use it properly. Um, but this is an exclusive update. Thank you, Carl G. Um, not many new things are part of this update. Um, he fixed a bug that I found last time about um, a character, Ice Devils. You couldn't hit them except for magic. That was not fun because <laughs> your magic runs out pretty damn quick. And there is new music in the Overland cool but we'll get to that so let's continue. continue and i will actually start off yeah you should start off because uh i also don't want to fuck up your your character. your character yes. i might actually you can even just roll it's fine with me because because yeah. i i think yeah if, if this is a midway through i'd rather not mess yeah. up what you guys are doing because because i haven't i haven't played this in a bit so let's take a look at my stats so everybody knows where i'm at here level five axe sling chain since the last time you played, there's improved dungeon visibility code, too. Oh, okay. So, uh, I actually named my character properly, Zero Page Homebrew. Perfect. And there's male, female, and other. I picked other, just to be different. And strength, 19. So, I, my initial stats were 15, 10, and 10. Because I, I tend to go for strength in games. Yeah, so you go in more melee style. Yeah, but I didn't overpower the strength. And so, I went for as even as you can get with a bonus on strength, so... And now I'm up to level five, uh, which gives one bonus for every level. So I've gone up four levels. So you can see intelligent, dexterity are at 14 instead of 10. The star beside level means that... So in this RPG, does dexterity measure your... Because um, uh, in, in, in classic D&D, &D, dexterity will typically... I mean, it depends. Dexterity has a lot to do with your ability to get hit because you can dodge. Um, or it can affect your ability to hit. Um, that's what i'm guessing carl g can confirm that um, um so but the, i am definitely guessing that because that makes sense 
This is a very reduced set. There's oh only yeah, three and, stats, which and, is all you need. And intelligence, basic. I assume, is just spell casting. Yeah. And dexterity might be your ability to hit, and strength might be how hard you hit. Yeah. Yeah. For um, sure, I'm sure it's that because that's that's what makes sense. Yeah. My may. Some of the objectives I had to for today's show, so that we can play properly, um, to grind for four hours yesterday, is that I get all the mat, all the weapons. The top weapons. Um, so yeah, I've uh, okay. He says Dex is to hit with ranged specifically. That makes sense. That's a, also oh, okay. a that's a that's a, a kind of like lane of D and D as well, where your dexterity modifier affects only your ranged attacks, and mm. your strength modifier only affects your physical attacks. Mm. There's a there's a okay. there's a feat which is very common in game called weapon finesse. What that'll do is take your dexterity modifier and make that your melee attack hit. Mm. But I mean, this is not that. But I mean, that yeah. makes sense. So basically. Strength. Oh, for dodging traps and dungeons. Okay, so dexterity Dexter. is trap dodge and ability to hit with ranged. Ranged. Okay. Um, so I have the top. So yeah, you made the right choice. I wouldn't. I, I so. wouldn't use dex then because I mean it's you know unless there's a better ranged attack than there sling. Isn't. There isn't. Like if there and were sling a sling is level one. If there were like a bow, yeah. then maybe there might be some real advantage to balancing, which I think would probably maybe be the best choice. Yeah, because then you could definitely hit people before they come and then finish them off. But if if really ranged attacks are subpar to, At to melee, at this point they are, and pretty quickly they kind of zone in on you anyways. Like you really get maybe one or two flails at the swing yeah. at the at the sling. I would, in the full game, if he keeps everything the same and there's better ranged weapons, I would probably go low on strength. Yeah, because you start far apart from the enemies. Yeah. I would go high in intelligence, high on dexterity, and low on strength. Um, because it takes a while to cl close in. And you, yeah. and the whole time you're doing that, you're hitting them with ranged uh, magic and ranged uh, weapons. Yeah, or you could do like a like a 13 strength, 12 dex kind of deal, something uh, like you that. You can get that granularity. It's in fives. It's in fives? Yeah. So you started with 5, 5, 5, and you have 20 to distribute. Oh, okay. So I went 15, 10, 10. Okay, cool. So I don't know if you'd want to go down to five on strength. So I would no, but you might you might just ditch int and just go straight for dexterity. Dexterity, yeah. Because I'm because I mean it, or or go the opposite. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, so there's strength two... also affects hit points. Yeah, so your strength needs uh... to be way up then. Oh, so strength is juiced in this then. So if that's your if that's because in D and D strength and constitution are two separate stats. Constitution is like your ability to get how much damage you can take, and strength is how much you can deal. So if strength and constitution are combined, then just do strength. Yeah. Then you might want to go full strength. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because if, if, if dex is only your ranged attacks, yeah. and if your strength is your ability to get hit, and yeah. your int doesn't really matter, doing a pure strength... magic it does. Well, yeah, doing a pure strength build might be a way to do it. And then I would ditch dex to maybe go int, like go like full, yeah. like, like 2010 you know yeah like 20 i don't know <laughs> i don't know it it depends on your play style i guess but i mean if you but the reality the reality is if you can take a lot more hits and and kill people and you're not actually like you know anyways um so i have the ma uh, the biggest melee i have the biggest ranged i have the biggest armor there's two levels of melee you can get cool um and they're on there yeah um, so the first uh, is mace, is a mace, and, and then, then second you, is axe, then you get an axe, and then leather armor versus chain armor. Yep. And the range, there's only a sling. Um, yeah. I wish there was one more, like a bow, mm -hmm. but he probably wants to introduce arrows, maybe. Yeah, that makes sense. And that hasn't been in. And I've just spent all my gold on healing potions, three healing potions, Perfect. and one cure poison potion. And there's my hit points, which goes up with level. So I have 24. So do points. you start with five with everything, or do you start with um, five on? Or do you like start with strength, yeah. dexterity? You choose them. So I started with fifteen, ten, ten. But but I mean, so you, that and then went up four because I've went up four levels. But I mean, do you have a total of? Um, and I think your hit points is like so your just, strength so they, plus Do they level. all start at zero, or they all start? No, no, you choose them. When you start the game. Yeah, so you have a maximum, but you said you have a maximum of 20 points? To, or 25 to distribute. points? Oh, sorry, yeah, they start at 5. Ah, there we I go. Believe. That start makes at sense. 5, and you distribute 20, and 15, 10, 10 is what I ended up with. Yeah. So, and this is your house, and you can save there, which I saved, and that's why we're loaded yeah. the game. 
Um, so I kind of position myself that we're ready to go into the dungeon. Perfect. At this point, you don't need gold to go into the dungeon. Um, so what? This is the new song. So Carl G says, talk to the queen first. Now that was a big debate thing when we were playing because as you level up, the enemies get stronger. Yeah. And the gold does not... Bethesda in, <laughs> Yeah. The gold does not... Well, the, not the enemies get stronger. There's harder enemies. And I think they get a little bit stronger. It's hard to tell. Um, but you don't get proportional gold. As you upgrade. And if you're juiced already to the max, and you're doing a kind of more of a strength build. Yeah, so I was like really hesitant to go up the levels because there were some really tough characters being introduced. And is an extra like one point in all your things really gonna... Not much. Gonna and, do much? Because I was trying to get gold, because you have to get 900 plus 400 plus 200 plus 100 plus 50 to get up all the weapons. It's a lot. <clears throat> so... You talk to the queen to upgrade. Welcome ZPH, Queen Aveline says. You are now greater. So now we look at our stats. We're level six. We've now up to strength 20. 15. Dex 15, 15. And uh, our max hit points goes up by, by two points. Two points each time. But now, uh, what we've been doing he is says, recording. Uh, he wonders why the picture isn't stable. It seems to be flickery on our end, actually, too. I don't know. It's because this uses a very special way of displaying information. There's a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole thing. And it also depends on the power of your computer to be able to decode 60 discrete frames per second and display them very well. So does your dragon scale with you and do your stat points affect your dragon? As you yes. Know? That's a that's a question I'd love an answer to. Uh this you should be i think it's your side because is it thrust. is that would be interesting to know because that could also affect your leveling up right like if your dragon is leveled up purely by it, your level it is um but it, it gets but, stronger but do your stat points affect your dragon or is that just you they i believe he's a mirror of you okay but um we'll have to see because also then your stat points are if your stat points also affect your dragon Giants. that's a new one yeah can you put level six sure and then put giants. And then I also note whether they have projectiles or not. And then projectiles, and then we don't know yet. We'll see in a second. Nope, not so far. So what I've been doing is I've been using my ray spell till I don't have any magic left because there's not much more use for magic other than that. And do you get refilled each fight? You get refilled slowly. Okay. You get refilled during the fight and while you're walking around on the overland. So three hits by Ray kills him. And is the breath, I mean, this is another question, is the breath affected by dexterity or is that affected by um, intelligence? Because that could also change the way you'd want to stab the guy too. It would be good to know all these things. And in a game, do they usually tell you all these things or just people find them out and then post them online okay. after? And this dude, this is my obsession. Like, I am <laughs> the dude who fucking Googles everything. Like, once I start playing a game, I will, like, if I like the game, I'll pause the game and then I'll read, like, four hours of forums to understand all the meta elements of them. Okay. Yeah, it is the stream. Mm. I mean, I can put it into the non-color mode, which I don't really like. So dungeon I'm not going to do that this time. Snake. So this is, we just entered into the dungeon of the snake. This right now, he has it mirroring uh, a dungeon in Ultima three. Ah, oh, cool. So these are the maps from Ultima three, which will help us. And we've already been into this dungeon as well. Okay. Um, and I also want you to continue on writing down enemies that are in the dungeon. So use this. Okay, cool. And just put dungeon of the snake and then and then we'll just keep writing them down. And then put like level one because there's different enemies on each level of the dungeon. And as you go down further, 
you'll encounter different enemies. So you really don't want to enter into the dungeon until you have the sun spell. Hey, yeah, that it's helpful. Changes the whole <laughs> deal. At the moment, I can hardly see the text in the second row. Well, that would be more on your end, Thomas. I think that's your, your contrast to your screen there, probably. Well, it's the 60 frames per second ah. not being decoded fast enough on his end. It's only been able to handle 30 and then flicker oh, every once yeah. in a while to the second frame. Shoot, man. And that's just because the Atari 2600 so, is so powerful. So we're on level <laughs> one, right? Yeah. So we're in the top, we should be in the top left corner, which is, which has the ladder, which looks like it's a ladder out, like, it's a backwards dungeon. No, that's... It's like a, an as ascent. Ah, it's like So a, hey. climbing down goes out of the dungeon. Ascent, descent, it's all good. Yeah. A mysterious voice says, some walls are fake. Whoa. So that is, on the bottom there, that is a fountain. Now some fountains are good. They will heal your hit points. Some fountains are bad, and they will go down by 25 hit points. So we need to know what that one is. I bet it's a heal, because it's right at the beginning. It looks like cure poison to me. <laughs> oh, is you it? You see what I mean? Like oh, yeah, there's four of them. symbol versus, like, that doesn't look like a plus. That looks like, I mean, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. That that's would, a cure poison one. That's, that's my so let's guess. Let's try it. You feel purified. Yeah, it makes sense. Um... We'll see. See if we. I mean, it makes sense if we're in the dungeon of the snake, man. We're gonna get fucking poisoned, guaranteed. So, these are dire spider spiders. Do you want me to just write down? Like, yeah. So, level one enemy, dire spiders. We'll see if they have webs shooting out. The darker row that gives the gold, etc. Oh, the second, the darker one. Oh, you can't. Not because of the flicker, because of how dark it is. Oh, it's showing up really good here. Then this that, representation is exactly what we're seeing on the screen. Yeah, that might be a contrast thing on your end, yeah. potentially. But I don't know, man. I'm sorry. That sucks. Yeah. Okay. So, so far they're not shooting. So now we're going to cast Ray. And I didn't kill him. Uh, Does magic always hit? Our, yes. Our magic always hits. The, the dragons doesn't always hit. Then, but then, it's not, it's kind of magic. See, then I'm thinking that Dex might be just a... See, he messed with his. Weak stat. Now, I want to move up because... Now now he's next to me, I'm going to bite him. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm just going to continue with my ray spells. My favorite thing about RPGs is builds. I like games where you can do a lot of stats and oh, yeah. stuff like that. It's always been my oh. favorite. Killed. Nice. We're doing pretty good here. There we go. And it's always good to sick so your guys. So my spell points are eight. I'm going to see if... No. Spell points went up to 18. Oh, so, so that was not a cure poison. That was... So he's changed these around. Yeah, they must do different things. I mean, this is a... I think I would say this is a cure poison in terms of like... Like Ultima, like if this is an Ultima map, yes, then they, that might doesn't necessarily mean that his fountains are the same. As, that's true. But that's good to know. It is good to know because I know I can heal there. Okay, I think everything else is the same, so we want to go and get those um, treasures in the top right corner. Let's go over there. Oh. Okay, yeah, this is the door because you can't see. Yeah, it's a hidden door. Hey, and then some treasure. Minotaurs. Oh my god. So I'm gonna stay behind. I'm gonna Are go they ranged? out one. Don't know yet. We shall see. Not so far. Minotaurs seem like pretty powerful enemies on a level one dungeon. But maybe like just everything's thrown at you because I'm level six now, right? Yeah, that's the, that's and it's difficult to know. I mean, that's well, the I difficult. Them pretty, right? That's why I personally don't like games at scale. Yeah. Um, I'm much more of a fan of uh, more sectioned off areas. Yeah. Where it's like this area is deadly, and you can't go there until. And then you can have like special rooms in well, games, like for example, like this is the fucking like treasure room, so you could have 
like a really tough guy in there. So then that incentivizes you to come back and maybe get it. Ten gold. Um, but I'd say in like the RPG world, like games that are scale with you are more casual. Um, and it's a more it's a more classic. Um, there's not that many games anymore that are that are not scaled with you. These no, because they want it to be like. I guess it's easier, I guess. I don't know. Is it easier to make, maybe? And um, well, it's more, like, casual, I'd say. The tough thing about scaling, though, is that uh, it doesn't incentivize the player to level up. Hell rabbits. Yeah, it doesn't. That's true. Because it's, it's that's the big thing. And yeah. the other problem is, is your algorithm better be pretty damn good. It's really hard to balance games like that. Oh, they do have ranged attack so usually i find closing in on ranged enemies makes more sense makes more sense but it also depends on how tough they are because some are very susceptible to i mean i don't have a lot of choice here they're going to close in on me anyway yeah. maybe yeah oh no pretty weak let's move up one in case that guy comes down well done they're not hitting me. So, so is good. is there a chance to hit based off of their attack rating, or is there any defensive elements from you? But I, I assume it's probably their attack rating, and I mean it's probably your your armor then is the thing that affects that. Armor, I think, cuts down on their amount they hit you. Yeah, it's like like when I got better armor, it didn't hurt me as much. Oh my god down to nine I'm gonna heal, yeah heal with my well, dragon. You, you also might want to get out of the line of sight because you kind of they were all kind of teed up on you yeah that's true i'm gonna move out of the way because yeah, my he... dragon in a bit here um let's let the dragon take some hits here Actually, i'm gonna stay in this oops oh, damn it okay you're moving let's just okay he's against you can hit either of me, so let's just move over so I can actually attack him. Oh, he hits me. Thanks. Oh, missed. Killed. Okay, I need to get back to that fountain. Yeah. Which is this way. Oh, it. It brings up your your your. Doesn't give you health, points. but. Oh no! I need health. I mean, you might want to just use one of your potions. Oh, they cost a lot of money. How much money do I have? Where's my stats? Oh, I guess you got to go outside the world. You can just pop up that thing well, guess, and check. Yeah. Oh, they're all here. Oh. I don't need anything else. I have heal. But, and I've... No, I don't have my... Oh, there's gold. 223. Yeah. I... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll use a heal, I guess. When I'm fighting? I should leave. <laughs> Oops. No, not cast. Because I'm too... Like, nine is bad. Like, you could get killed. Yeah, and if you can just get healed here... It's pretty quick. It's not yeah, you far. weren't that far away at all, so that's totally fine. Sun spell. Cast the sun spell. But finding another fountain would be good. Is there another fountain nearby? No. Not on this level. Hmm. Um. Now let's see if he keeps track of whether they're looted or not. Oh, he doesn't. I can just go back out and in and get tons of gold. <laughs> oh, and it's random whether there's a trap or not. And a trap. I'm thinking that uh, would have been easier to farm your items I with, think the, so. with uh, this method. I think so. <laughs> That's a lot of fast gold. And then if you get in a fight, you just kill these guys. And yeah. It strikes me that these ranged opponents are far more dangerous than... Very dangerous, yeah. Yeah, I should have been farming in the dungeon. Well, there's another good hint for people playing want to play the demo. Yeah, and he said that, um, uh, which is a great point Carl brings up, is that the dragon can heal once per combat. So that's also a thing that... that... I should be doing anyway, like at the end of a combat. For sure, man. Very smart. There, you're over and there. And you had it, and you had a chance to do it in the last fight, which you probably should have done. I mean, yeah. not that it mattered because you would have gone to town anyways, because you were pretty low. So. I could have been attacked on the way, mm -hmm. even on the overland map too. 
on this. But no, it's not a bad idea. To... Yeah. So I'll do it even at the end of this. Like, I'm down a couple, right? But when is the end? Let's see. Pretty soon, like now. Now you just move them over and like heal. Because I don't think you can heal range, though. Uh, you need to be standing next nope. to each other. Nope, you oh. can heal completely anywhere. Oh, well, then. But you can only do it once. And it heals a dragon, too, which helps. And that's a lot easier. Oh, yeah, that's a good tactic. Because you, as you're playing, you build up these tactics. It's like, oh, do this always. Okay, so let's go to the next treasure room, which is kind of... Down and around? Yeah. It's a T. Trap. There's a trap right in front of it. Well, see, you know, why not? You're full health. Uh, mm. I'll go to the other ones then. Cool. What are G's? There's gremlins. Ooh, I can go around them now. Minotaurs. Okay. So, all cast. They're not super strong, like the the, yeah. the magic weapon you have, unfortunately. Like my whatever I have, the axe Your is axe super is, is strong. Wrecking stuff. Super and also helps that you got like a lot of strength too. Yeah, strength is yeah. the way to go if it's if it's health. I mean, there's a reason why in D and D they separate strength and constitution because mm. um, both are really different. Like you know, being able to like deal a lot of damage and take a lot of damage. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, strength is just a way too powerful of a stat. Oh, strength is already regarded as one of the most powerful stats in, in, in like these styles of games. Right. I always go for strength. And it, it doesn't let me down. Because I usually don't go magic the magic route whenever I play a game. Typically, you know, it's not always the case, but in most RPGs, strength is great for the first half, yeah. and then magic is great for the second half. Yeah. So it's kind of like whether do you want your end game to be easy or do you want your first quarter to be easy. Yeah. And it depends on the game too. Some games are almost impossible to beat at the end with strength because you have to be so close and taking so much damage yep. that actually being like... I think, yeah, you're just part of the snaky one. Oh, I'm not through the yeah. snake. And then I go down. There we go. Oh, and that's the ladder, which is not indicated on here. I don't, yeah. Do you want to put uh, L... Right sure. there. Like this guy here? Yeah. Uh, L. Or here. I don't know. Oh, maybe U for up. It's just below that X. Okay. U for up, which is cool. backwards in this game. Oh, no, it's below It's below the X. Oh, below sorry. the X. What's Over that? here? Cool. Yep. Okay, so go over one. Oh, no, I don't want to ascend. No. And then down, and then there's a treasure room. I'm sure there's lots of traps, but that's okay. You just get a bunch of gold you can't really buy anything with, except for more potions. I, gu I guess you might want to just... How, is there a maximum amount of potions you can... That is a good question, and I think I'm going to go get some potions, because that's what's going to save me. Because in all honesty, man, like... What in are they, 100 levels. per potion, right? 50. Well, yeah, you could get, like... The... You could get quite a few healing potions. Yeah, I could. So... Yeah, and these guys, man. I'll probably go loot that one and if then, I'm fine, and then exit. Well, buy we'll a bunch see. Of you've got quite the fight now. These so, are projectiles. Yeah. So, in my opinion, James, you want to if it, you want to close in, and also, um, if they stack, that's when you're in trouble. Yeah, they do. So, if they start stacking, then you just want to move. So right now you can totally attack them because they're, they're not stacked. So it's a great time to start attacking. But if you find that there's more than two in one line, you're really... So right now you got two and two. Yeah. So I might just try to kill these guys because, I mean, offense is the best defense. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. But see, bam, you're going to get hit twice. Twice. Yeah. Um, oh, come on. So, yeah, this is rough. Yeah. I can heal and I do have potions. Ooh. I think I'm going to heal with my dragon now or you could Down to or you could move him over and then heal because you see they can't close in fast enough to kill him like i would personally knock your dragon over to the left to hide well yeah because um uh because see then they're gonna have to oh ah and then now you can circle around with your other guy yeah because they're trying to hit me that you see there yeah. they, and they couldn't 
because I'm behind the pillar. So what I might do is just do a ranged attack and let them, you know what I mean? Not because you'd want to do an attack, but just so that let them do their thing. Because right now you're safe, and then I would move your guy in and from the top, and you can right. kind of flank them. They're safe too. I can't do ranged yeah. on them. So. But, I, but I mean, I don't think that moving your guys, because you, now you, you might want to... Um, oh, we'll see. It's yeah. Awkward. They can't do diagonals. No. Can they? Oh, he might be able to. If I move up Dragon, because they can attack yeah. melee. I diagonals. might just move him back to the spot he was at, um, and then see what... Right there? Yeah. Because yeah. right, right now there's... Oh, they can move through? Yeah. So now... And so, so now I would just close in on these guys. Yeah. So. I'm going to move down. Move in. Yeah. Move in. Killed. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. No, I think that's the thing with these guys, is you, you movement's a big deal. Gold with like other guys you can just sort of tank it but okay d oh need to cast sunspell and down oh that room is very different yeah it's a little bit different okay so we'll go up over down, we'll loot this, then we'll go ahead and get some spell, some uh, healing potions. Good call. Load up on that, and then descend further into the dungeon. Descend. Because that's the goal, is or to get ascend, down. ascend, you know. Ascend. <laughs> Who knows? Is to get to level 8 of the dungeon. Wow. Because you have to retrieve something from level 8. Is it that hand dungeon. thing? Yep. I mark of the so. snake, mark of the king, you gotta get both. Gotta Ooh. get both, Ascend, yeah. it's true. Oops. Ascension. Ascension. Loot. 17 gold. Loot. Dire Spiders. Good name. Cast away. So, let me tell you the story. Oh, there's a bit of dropout. But dire Spiders, uh, no projectile. Ah, yeah. Of what was going on yesterday. Okay, so I was having, I I wanted to do the the grinding, so that we could play this game today in the dungeon, because nobody wants to see four hours of grinding. Even well, though and I, we've already done like I feel like three shows of <laughs> four hours of grinding. We have. <laughs> it's not like it's not like you can't go through the archives and discover what grinding for gold is going to look exactly. like. Exactly. But I thought since that I was playing it anyway, I'd broadcast it. For oh, those. Hell yeah. But I wouldn't announce it. I wouldn't make it like, oh, it's a, sh a show and I'm going to talk about news and things like that. It was just, oh, I evaded it. It's the first time I evaded a trap. Yeah, you can, it's a nice thing about having some. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Okay. But the forces were against me and my ISP connection was very poor yesterday it was bad before like a couple shows like for a couple weeks and it was like oh it's, it's bad but not it's it's fine it's not great um but yesterday was abysmal like it was one thousandth of the speed i was getting for upload Ugh. um so as you can imagine it was it was not broadcasting it would completely drop the connection to Twitch, and that was really unacceptable. So now I gotta. Oh, no one guy's on. Yeah, me. diagonal business. I, I don't just have many hit points. I'm gonna move. Well, they're gonna. He can still they attack get, diagonally. I he think. is, but I'll just lead them over to. Oh my god. What, I'll just attack and use my dragon to heal now. Yeah. Well, saved me, I guess, a bit. <laughs> Eight. I might personally move and let him close yeah. in. And right. then I might move your dragon. Oh, I should have moved him in. I can still move. And then I'll I'm... move him in to block, yeah. Well, also because your dragon has so much health compared to you. 20. Wow, he hasn't been used at all. And you can use the ranged. Oops. To attack oh. you. <laughs> to attack myself. Um, Through your own players. You oh, can shoot shit. shoot through them. Well then, that's a that's a good tactic. It is. So, might as well get some some spell points. Spell points. Yeah. 
Some walls are fake. Hey. So, let's go out. And go to the town. Get healed up first. Then we'll go to the castle. And go get some potions. Because we have a bunch of cash now. And those potions are going to save us in those times where it's like, oh, we're low on hit points, but we're on level three and we'd have to back out. It'd be great to find a fountain that is like... A healing fountain. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be one. Okay, I don't need to go up yet in stats, in level yet. And it's also really hard to know whether that's a great idea anyways. <laughs> it is hard to know. Uh, and I'm not certain that it is good to go up levels yet. Um... But I think if you don't go up levels, you will not be able to fight the things in the dungeon. Because one time, we just headed straight for the dungeon, went down, 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 just destroyed. By, like, because there's just some high-level people there? Yeah. So, we've got... What's the max level you can get to? See, I have so many questions. I know. Carl! It's all <laughs> good, man. What's the max level you can get to? I mean, he's not done the game, either. He's It's still a broken progress, so... How many do we need? Oh, I don't have it. You have enough already. Bastards. Oh, so we've reached our max. What's our max? What is our max? Seven. Okay, that's good to know. So well, let's, let's, let's get a cure poison then, because we've like maxed out money. Money is not a problem now anymore. Sixth in the demo. Oh, okay, cool. So we're max level right now. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Um, do you know if it's going to be higher in the, in the game? Oh, I bet. Well, be. him saying in the demo. Assumes it Makes maybe. sense. So I'm going to get a, one more Cure Poison, just to have it. So I have two now, because we haven't encountered anything mm -hmm. that's poisonous, but I'm sure we will. How D&D scales is you get extra attacks per round, which would totally change this game. What is it? Mixed? You, when, how would they scale as you get more attacks per round? Oh, yes. So you so a high-level warrior can attack more in one in one go, so yeah. that way you can really, like, you know, that, that definitely increases your abilities. And then you can find items which will give you extra attacks per round, and that's oh. how you scale for endgame. Um, so would it be, like, all of a sudden you have more attacks per round, all of a sudden you have double or does it like With, go a two three mix the, the way that it works is um you get your first attack you get your maximum attack rating and then your second attack you get less and oh. then you can attack so so and there's like this charts for it so like for example like a level 20 will actually attack can attack four times per round the first time is they get a plus 20 the second time they get a 15 the third time they get a 10 That's and the fourth cool. they get a five so but it but what's nice about that is the extra rolls means that like you know you can deal a lot more damage and um and, and also like do more in a round so you can do things like move and attack um, right which okay. which really makes the games more more ta tactic zombies it's a new one yeah let's hit up the zombies so there'll but, be more advancement in the full game yeah but i mean if you wanted to scale this giving us more attacks would allow you to kind of like keep the items the same otherwise you just have to scale power but then the problem is is you only get one roll so it really comes down to rng like, if you do a lot of damage in one attack, then if you don't hit, well, then it's really rough. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, if you miss on that attack, you're like... Mm -hmm. One of the things, too, um, one of the sort of rules of, you know, meta min-maxing RPGs is typically stats that are random, such as, like, dodging traps, dodging attacks, tend to be less advantageous than what we'd call hard things. So, like... HP is hard, so like you'd be mm. way smarter to get more HP than a chance to dodge because you're guaranteed to always have more health, but you're not. Right. And so that, in, so the less you can put into RNG, the better. Because the problem is, is there are builds even if you have 99% chance to dodge, you're still probably there's still a chance you'll get hit. Versus if you have like 5,000 health, then you always have 5,000 health. Ah, oh, that's a smart. So like when you're making Tactic. decisions like d to invest in dex or strength, having the hard health points are going to be way better um, than, than say more dex stuff. And I might, mm. the way you're playing, I would personally probably just ditch dex. Because if, if dex is only giving you ranged attacks and you're not really attacking... Outside mostly, of magic, anyway. Mostly ma magic, actually. Now, oh come on. In all honesty, I'd probably do a pure strength build if I were to if I were to really? do this because 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 if you think about it, like your um, magic is, I mean, sure it's nice, but like you're not really 
you're, I, I, I just observe that, like, your dra- And this is the thing, too, but I'd need to know if, the, if these stats affect the dragon or not. Okay, we're in level two now. Uh, where did we come from? We're in a hallway somewhere. Don't know where yet. We'll see when we get to a corner. Oh. Because if your int boosts your dragon's breath... It's right there, W. So put a... Um, a U... Uh, no, a D. Right, right above the... Just above the W. I mean, it's right around there. Because if the dragon is just affected by your stuff, I would just fucking juice. What was it just below? Because a strange wind blew out my... Oh, we'll see. We might need to crack that. Yeah. Uh, drafty clues. Ah! Dark spiders. Yeah. Hit points. Yeah, I think I'm going to ca cast my healing right away. Yeah, it's not bad. Because I forgot to do it at the end of the last day. Oh, wait, hit points were almost at max again then. Killed! Yeah, because so having more hit points, man. Imagine having, like... Because how many, how many hit points do you get per strength? Uh, you get them per level. And you get... Oh! That's a good question. Right. Yeah, but I'm a, I'm a lunatic. This is the stuff I love doing. <laughs> oh, and people will do this when the game comes out. That's what like, I do, man. Like, I'm like... My... I forgot to do Oh, no, here you did. You only did one. But the thing that's fun... I like doing that because it's like... Yeah, you're going to kill it with the winds. Oh, there's winds everywhere, but I have to. It's okay. Like, what are twos? Insert cards into Exodus? I don't think that has anything to do with this game. Who hasn't inserted a card into Exodus? <laughs> Are you moving or is it I just am. yeah? Oh, there isn't a wind. This needs to be redrawn. So these are oh, I missed it. Oh, uh, let's stay here. Slime. Okay, that's a new character. So far, no ranged on them. I'm gonna do a heal. Well, I, I don't know how much I have. Maybe I've healed up. Oh shit! This no, is I level haven't. two, isn't it? Uh, it's yeah. You might as well. I don't know if they coordinate, but yeah, level two. Oops, god damn it, I'm not paying attention. Let's do a heal. Yeah, because we haven't encountered slime, so they are definitely like a level two. Get. Your weapon dissolves? Did you just lose your axe? Are you effing joking? So now you're like punching? Well, punch let's, was good. Let's find out. We will find out. You gotta be kidding. Oh, and we can't check our stats inside, inside the dungeon. No, we don't know what we have. Oh, dude, this is some trolling. Where's the opening? There it is. So, we need to go... There, I'm guessing? Yeah. Oh, this is totally different. Yeah. I'm going to have to redraw these. Yeah. I think. And a trap. That's really lovely. Carl, you're messing with me. Oh, it's in the middle. Cool. Or is it to the just to the left? Okay, so that is a, a up. So you want to put it up in the middle between those two arrows. So I do want to ascend, because like I want right to go to level 3. Oh. Right there? Nope. There. I'm on the bottom. Go between, between those two arrows cool. there. Yeah. So now I'm on level 3. I'd love to be able to check if you have an axe still inside the dungeon. I would too. I would highly. I would say that's it. I wouldn't say it's important. Maybe I should to, get out? Yeah, oh hell yeah. If you don't have an axe, you need to get an axe back. Yeah. There's no way you're going to be able to like oh. survive minotaurs. And... <laughs> that's true. Oh, slime. That's terrible. Like, you can't even store axes. Like, extra axes. And nor can you flee from fights. No. Carl, are you going to implement fleeing in this game? So then you'd probably just want to do ranged attacks against slime. They close in. But I, 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 I did. 
I did. No, the but whole time. but I mean, now that we know that it can dissolve your weapon, it's better to have your sling dissolved than your axe. Oh, it may have dissolved the sling. Oh, yes, I see. Like, even when they're like next to you, yeah, don't hit them with your axe. Because because I mean, the right. worst thing because because like let's let's, let's like, think about this. Like, the sling costs fifty gold. The axe costs four hundred. <laughs> yeah. So like. You know, and also, um, and this is where magic would have a bigger factor. You would never lose it if you just keep casting. So but maybe, so do maybe do doing out. like a pure caster build might actually be stronger. So maybe, well, we won't say what yet, but it, but we'll put a note beside slime after that. <laughs> or what you do is you dissolves. flee and you just have your dragon fight them. It, yep, that's another tactic, if that's possible. Oh, it's probably for sure, because I don't... You can't dissolve your dragon's weapon, so that means that, like... And then what you want to do is... Uh, so... Where am I? I think I'm still in the middle there, so I'm just going to head out to the right. And Mystic Winds are there. And it's dark, because it blew out my... Oh, so it's more like there, along aligned there so cross out that d and put it the same horizontal plane something like that yep cool uh okay so i'm there and i'm gonna exit just so i know so we know if you can confirm because we can buy an axe that's no problem yeah we've, we've got, got enough we got well, enough gold just. for it but we and now we can deal with these slime guys oh my god Happens if you hit a slime twice. That's interesting. Oh my god. You're keeping track of how many times you've hit a slime? Oh, well that's very helpful. Well then okay. now we know uh, we can totally use that tactic. Just hit them once with your weapon. That's right, and then and switch over to ranged. Or magic. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need to use my even though my guy is being ganged up on, I still it's still good to use it because you can do it every single time. Oops, that was a waste. Still got a left left. Maybe not for long. There we go. I'll keep him safe. One hit point. Bye bye. <laughs> Rip. Thank you. Your, your dragon is expendable, yeah. so it's fine if he dies. It's not not during, not too early, but you know. Yep. And here. But dragon's back. Does he good. have the same amount of health? Yeah, he gets full. Yeah, so then I, that's a huge tactic you should be using. Oh, I I do like Cause... get everyone on the dragon. There's also a spell that you have is swap spell. So if you're ganged up and your dragon isn't, you can swap. Oh, places. that's a way to do it. Yeah. I uh, still need to heal, so I'll do that now. Now I'm at full. Good, good, good. But it's usually unlikely that there's ever a case that I need to use the swap spell. Yeah. Because they usually evenly distribute because there's always four enemies. And so it's like two and two. I'm a little bit more powerful than my dragon usually, or I'm better at hitting for some reason. It's just then the, but there might be some real tactics to doing ranged attacks with your guy and then moving your dragon in. Mm, yeah. Depends on the, the See, foes. now I could swap. So let's just do that because... Yeah, and that's a very good tactic because now my hit points will never won't go down. Yeah, and then you can just move up. And... Perfect. Starting staff. The staff. Oh yeah, you do have a default. Okay. So now we can look at our stats. Staff for sure. Boo. Okay. So the axe is in the castle. We got a gold enough gold for it though. How's our 
Oh yeah, we maxed at six. I forgot. And there's the armory. And there's the weaponsmith. Hey buddy. Talk. Yes I would. And I shan't lose it again. That's perfect. <laughs> so and then you can heal up while you're here too. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go to my... Yeah, oops. Yeah, I can't heal up. Which is over here. Hello, healer. It's a free healer. That's such Very good news, nice. man. It's, it's a perk of going to the castle. It's the people's healer. That's right. Let's just save the game. Okay, so we have to have, like, a goal for this episode. I know we're not going to get to level 8. Because I'm going to redraw those maps. Yeah. For the next episode. I'll make them blank. Most of the walls are the same. Most of them. They're not all the same. Okay. Oh, did... No, we don't have enough money. But we haven't even used a healing potion. No. So we're pretty, pretty good. Okay. So let's... We made it down to level three. I think we did, but we quickly escaped after... The slime were on level two, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, so we pretty much just want to... Get the hell out of level two right yeah, now. Yeah, I'd, I'd be lying to two. See, just to see how far we can make it. Yeah. Uh, cast. Okay. Usually, yeah, I'm... Oh. Usually I eliminate my enemies before my Your dragon, dragon does because my ray is better than his breath. breath. That makes sense. But his close, I think, mirrors my weapon close. Or at least my strength is mirrored by him. He may not have the weapon bonus, maybe? I memorize that one. So, I might honestly go down instead I, of up, personally. I think so. All these guys, man. Hell, the rabbits. Oh, no, they have range. So I need to close in on them, I think. Because they were pretty weak. Yeah, and if they stack on top of each other, you want to kind of dodge, I would. I'm in an open area on the left. Yeah. You, so, so, yeah, dodge and make them come to me. Totally. Yeah. And then I can dodge again and make him come to me again. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the way to do it. And now it's... Now it's on! Yeah, Death to rabbits! These guys, yeah, you just want to basically make them come to you. Yeah. So I'm going to stay out of the range. I'm going to heal... No, I've only got one. Down. There we go. Ten gold. So now it should yeah, blow now, it out. And and which is right go. underneath, so you can go up. Yeah. Then you just keep going up, and it should be. Where is it? Oh, it's over a bit. Yeah. Oh my god, slime. Okay, so just only hit once. So, did they have projectiles? No. No, okay. So, close. No. no. Use range. Cast. Ray. Use the breath. It's going to move in. Cast the ray. I want to bite. God damn it. So I can hit him once. Yeah. Which hopefully will kill him. Yes. Your weapon is... Lies, Carl G. Lies. Lies, lies, lies. Oh, so you we can't... You can't even hit them at all. Yeah, with any physical attack. So now uh, we have to go back and refarm. And I don't even have money for it. Yeah. I have to go back to level one and open all those chests. And, oh my god. Oh my god. Well, you can't take my staff. <laughs> Your weapon is dissolved. <laughs> you now have fists. Your fists are dissolved. Oh my god. 
First time corroded, but you still have it. Oh. Oh, really? Was I not reading correctly? Okay. Oh, so um, you oh, so you only get one. You only get two total, not per oh. guy. Oh, I thought it was per guy. Yeah, that's what we were thinking. Yeah. So. Oh my god. So now I have a degraded weapon. No, now you you destroyed your weapon because I only hit him once. No, you hit them twice. Because you hit my it, weapon. No, you hit him once with your weapon because you thought it dissolved. So then you hit it again, believing that it had been, even though it was only corroded. So, and I saw it said it dissolved. Um, I hit him twice. Yeah. Okay, now I have to exit out again. <laughs> second time is dissolved, and that's second time total. So you don't want to hit those guys at all. No. With your with your weapon. Um, it's a warning. Does it degrade your weapon though? I mean, you don't want to hit him because you don't want him to take a chance of even mm -hmm. just like. And does the corrosion is that is that carry per, over? That's the question, right? Is that per um, like? Is it only count for one slime, or you basically get two attacks in total for any slimes? For the whole game, ever like your stat, your armor, your axe stays corroded the whole game. That's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You basically get one swing, in which case, like don't even swing. Yeah, it's because you'll have to remember. Yeah, man, fuck Dext. You'd be way better <laughs> off throwing that other five points in, in Int. Hmm. Yeah. Killed. Killed. I mean, I'm pretty strong still. Remembers but... per dungeon visit. Oh, well, no, it's just not going to do it. So then, oh, because you get one attack per dungeon visit. Right. Okay, cool. That's good to know. I mean, that... Yeah. So, I would write that down beside them now that we know that. Ugh, oh, Mr. Quinn's. Right there we go, up. Descend. Oop. What level am I on? Alright, so we go up and around. On level one, I'm just gonna get all the treasures because I need them now. Yeah. I don't have any money. We'll have to sit and we're gonna farm up. Yeah, we'll just go back up and down to the dungeon and farm up some gold. Yeah. And this is the first dungeon? It's the only dungeon in the game right now. Cool. Um, I mean, in the full game, there'd be lots of dungeons. Because it's a demo. So he oh, wants yeah. to have a town, he wants to have a castle, he wants to have a dungeon. Makes total sense. All the basics. Ooh, hit point 12. So let's go. Oh, I forgot, been forgetting to heal. You, you See, heal. like, I just might reload. Because, uh, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you saved last time rather than farming up a freaking axe. Where it <laughs> literally were, like, way worse than when we started. Yeah, yeah, it depends when he saves. He may save out of every time you go in and out of a town or a dungeon. Didn't it say it saved like when you when you like rest at home? Yeah, it saves when you die, but I'm not sure other times it saves. He may do it every time you go in and out of a dungeon too. Can you confirm or deny that, Carl? G? Well, no matter what, we'll be in a better place. Uh, yeah. That, that feels cheaty, <laughs> but true. <laughs> but I mean, this is the second time. And yeah. And literally now we're just going to go farm and you know what I mean? Like it's, okay. let's just see it. Let's just see. And because no matter, no matter what, well, that's our own question. And that's we're not going to be in a about. worse place. We're, like we're already in a terrible place. So do we have our axe? Well, we do because we're outside our house. Yeah. Yeah, that saved about um, 15 minutes. <laughs> well, yeah, and it's not like we're in... Um, and I, I believe, you know, reloading is not cheating. No? It's part I mean, of the game? Well, yeah, that's why you have a save, and especially when you're like... I mean, the thing is... That's true. Why be... are you saving, then? Yeah. Well, so you can continue on later. <laughs> yeah, so not... you continue on later, but also, like, if you if you if if you're learning the mechanics of the game... And now you, you know what I mean? And it's... 
Yeah, that's true. And it is the demo, not the real game. At, at worst, if all that fails, it's like, no, it's just playing it, testing it out. Oh, for sure. I do feel a little cheaty doing that. But. Well, no, I save, saving and, and reloading a game is like... Run. That's like a total... That's the thing you do in every RPG. Yep. What do you guys think? <laughs> is uh, turning the system, like rebooting a save... I mean, that's, no, that's part of every... Reloading a save. Like, why yeah. would you have a save feature if you're not allowed to reload your save? Yeah. So I'll just stay there. And I'll move. Especially, um, and it, it would be a different story if this wasn't such a sharp game, but this is a very sharp game. Sharp as in, like, it's brutal. Well, like, the fact that, like, you, you aren't given a manual and you're discovering that by fighting an enemy you're gonna lose your your weapon so now i have to do it completely like that's a sharp game like that's like you know you right know. i'm gonna close it on nothing nothing wrong with that yep i see if i'm about to die go out and back to a save point much better than losing everything hell yeah, yeah. and to that point and also, that's why the save is in town, not in a dungeon. Like, a lot of games will have a save in no! dungeon. No! I died. Yeah, then does that, is that rip? Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure it's rip. There's no continue there. Atari Oxlus. Ready. Ha ha ha. Yeah. There we go. I was not paying attention. Um, and I was just about to talk about what happens when you die in this game. Um, when you die in this game, you lose everything. Oh yeah, so we gotta farm up all of our everything. shit again, basically. And the problem with farming everything... Oh, is that we don't, we need the gear to be able to, to fight the gear. <laughs> you need the, the gear to fight the thing. But so this is also why I would highly recommend something that's like, um, specific levels have different things because you can't go to a level one level to get your shit back now right yeah you can't go anywhere like am i gonna die here let's find out like i still have my i have my um magic yes yeah. and i can heal with my dragon you can get gold in the first dungeon pretty quickly though yeah that is true that is true so, but we need to get basically 900, 900, 400. So we need to get like 1300 plus like probably at least a few like health potions. Yeah. So let's say we need about 1500 gold to sort of get back to get back to zero. Yeah. Now, how long is that going to take? Um, there's about 15 gold per chest. Which means that we need 10, which means we need what? A hundred chests? <laughs> And then there's like, how many chests? We're looking at like one, two, three, Not four. Not those, because those are kind of tough. Six of so six. Plus six. Those are easily got. Got six. Two. Yeah. So you know. I I think it's a bit brutal. I think losing all your health potions and like all of your um, gold make a lot of sense, but losing your actual equipment is rough. That's a rough. Because so gold expensive. and health make sense. Because then now you got to farm up your gold stuff. Um, okay, I've got 35. Like, I guess to the dungeon because that's super quick. That's the way to do it, yeah. Well, we'll see how fast the, the dungeon um, looting method will get us. And let's see if we can survive one of these, too. These guys are pretty okay. One hit, but I don't have my axe, so we'll see what the axe difference no axe makes. It's good to test this thing out anyway. Yeah. Like losing everything. Let's see how that. I mean, I should have been paying more attention to my hit points, but I, I just wasn't. It was just. So like, it's a very was... sharp game then. I mean, the, the... punishment is swift. <laughs> well, the thing, the thing too is that with with a game, you also want to always balance. You want to encourage the player. Um, to continue to want to play, because I would say at right. this point I kind of feel like doing something else. You know, <laughs> no, I don't mean that in a mean way, but it's like that's definitely the feeling I have. Sixty-three gold. So that's not bad. That's and not then you bad. can loot this stuff. And the 
the traps don't hurt you very much. Yeah, dumping your equipment at the point of death. That's a Diablo thing, and that was really <laughs> fun, man. That was... Dumping equipment on the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Diablo 1, all your equipment would fall on the ground if you died. And right. so then if you're doing it in a multiplayer game, people would then just either take your shit or you come back. But if you dump it, it still belongs to you? No, it's it's gone. Oh, like if well, you die, the... all the equipment's oh. on. But it's on the ground, so if you can get back to the spot that mm. you died, you can get all your equipment back. It doesn't work that way in this game. There's no loot on the ground. Oh, yeah. There's no and in, in Diablo 2, you have a corpse, so then you have to retrieve your corpse. Um, and then once you get your corpse, you get all your equipment, which is really fun because then you have to kind yeah. of run into... But that's an action RPG thing more than a turn-based one, I'd say. Um... Yeah, it's not hard... It's all about the grind. How long is this going to take? Because you definitely have to grind to get back up to where you were. And it doesn't make as much sense to like um, get those intermediate wep items. You know what I mean? Like it's there's no, no point no, in no. us like dropping no on leather all. armor and all that stuff. It's better just to get the big boys. Definitely. So the fighting is fine. It's it's not hard. You have enough going on. The weapon pluses are not about two hundred. So. It, Back. It's easier to just do this, because rather than go way around to those other ones. Yeah, you just want to. These oh. ones are really close by. I only have 16 hit points. Uh, I should go to the town, which is really close. Magic back right away after I cast. And they're full of loot again. Yay! <laughs> Somebody's very foolish filling this with gold over and over. Yeah, this is a respawn each time. And and what is, is this fun? Like doing this? Mm, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we have sort of gone on this circle a few times now. Yeah. So I've got three, 312, which, you know, 312 gold is pretty fast. Better than nothing, man. Yeah. So 14. What does this have? 13. Cause, 10, cause, so what I would say right 19, now, James, yeah. is at the moment, we have gotten back enough to really buy some health potions. Do you know what I mean? We so did, like, yeah. so that was a, and that was maybe like, you know, that was that's definitely a punishment. But now we could start to go back in. So, what I'd say is losing all your gold and health potions might be like, uh, might that would probably be my move because mm. now we could at least continue to sort of play the game, you know? Uh, cause right. Because because you know, but it depends how much grinding you want to do to reset. So like. I'd say that this is a like probably like you know going in and looting, having to reloot twice to then go back inside. I mean that's a rhythm that feels more like it sucks and I I'm annoyed, right. but I feel like I want to keep playing. Like yeah, like it, but it's ha basically now we have to do this um another let's say another three times what we just did, maybe four times. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting oh, to God. see how long that takes Rabbits. because um. Because now I do feel like, you know, if we could go back into it. Quick enough. And especially, too, the fact that we our weapons are gonna, like, can get dissolved as well. You know what I mean? Like, there's lots of... There's lots of... We, can, we can prevent that. That mm -hmm. one's not too bad now. We just do ranged and magic. But That's if you're like um, But if you're like a first, like if you're a player, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know this game. Yeah. Um, you know, you're, you've alre we've already been punished... Um, sufficiently <laughs> yeah we've already been punished pretty decently now which is like you know it's part of the fun of of rpgs is like you're learning the game you know yep but um but i mean it, i would probably go with with gold and health potions being the things you lose but okay now i'm gonna swap <laughs> that's first time i've actually used swap yeah for real and now I would just move in, but now oh, he's gonna no, attack he's gonna ranged. Maybe yeah. attack me. Well, we'll see. No, no, I think they don't do ranged if they have the opportunity ah, cool. to do close, which is you can use as a tactic right here. Damn. So I need hit 
points. Yeah. So at this point, we would start to be able to go back and play the game. So I don't know how long that was, but that gives you some idea of like... Right. Because I'm able to hit fairly well. Still have ranged. Uh, I wonder if my messages with the slimes aren't sufficient. It was intended that you get a warning and know not to hit them again. Um, that is sufficient. We weren't really... Like, it only stays up for a second. And, yeah. and if you're, like, going boom, 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 boom. That oh, make a noise. Like, bzzz, Like, yeah. that would be more. It's like, oh, pay attention. But or the, the screen flashes. But like, definitely, though, to put that in the manual, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Beside, like, if you're doing a detailed list of all the enemies, put beside slime. Slime will disintegrate Cause, your weapon. Because any serious RPG player is going to open up the manual and read, and then that's at least, then they have a chance to avoid that, which is really nice. Shadow orbs are, these... are really tough. You have to close in on them. Yeah. They can hit you from anywhere. Wow. They don't, they just go, bzz. so you just have to close in on them as quickly as possible. But the other ones can still attack you. That's the problem. But they're pretty... They're not very strong. Close they, they up. They just constantly... They hit you for one or two. Okay, that's not too bad then. Yeah. But far away, they hit you for three. And there's four of them. So that's 12 each turn. But they're closing on me. But now that you know the fine. tactics, that's that makes... Yeah, you do need to know your enemies. Yeah, in this that's game. right, Miss Miss Command. I think you just fight them with ranged and spells, and that's the way that you that you survive the slime attacks. Yeah. How much damage do the slime do? I didn't know. This. Probably pretty. I mean, you might be wise to scale their damage down to balance that, um, because that's pretty ruthless. That is. But you know, it's an RPG. Depends how hard you want it to be. Yeah. They're on level two. That's a that's a tough creature. Maybe change them to another level. Range weapons, magic, and your dragon. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yep. That's that's what you do. So I'm gonna get Yeah, then some you then you potion. just run away from them and Yeah. He hasn't answered that yet. Can, are you going to allow your party to flee a um Oh no, I mean attack. you can run away from the the slime guys. Like right. you can send your dragon in and, and, and do more have your dragon take more damage. I'm gonna get three healing but in in ultima you can run away from a fight mm -hmm. um be a completely different game then it would be it changes the tactics a lot so now i've got not enough money yet i mean in most weapon. i've never i've personally never played a turn-based game that doesn't allow you to flee mm. that's not to say that you can't do it but i've certainly never i've never encountered that before oh shit yeah. Like um, all the Final Fantasies, any JRPGs, any, any turn-based stuff I've, I've done, there's always a sort of flea thing. I mean, even this, what this is based off of, you can flee. And, it, and it's just also to, to reduce the grindiness of it. But enemies can flee too. Yeah. And you don't get the gold if they flee. Yeah, there you go. So it balances out. It's like, oh, I'm fighting them. I still can't let them go. So you have to do ranged and magic as they flee to get to kill them. In Ultima 3, you can't flee. Okay. I'm not trying to be completely faithful. I might add that. It's such a great mechanic. Depends, man. It's It would be an easier game. Um, uh, it just depends how hard you want it to be. Um, it's too dark to loot. <laughs> oh, so you can't just wander in the dungeon memorizing where everything is? Yeah. And not use your... Not that you need to, because you can heal right there and get all your magic back. But, you know what? This is what I'm going to be doing, is looting... And whenever I encounter an enemy... You flee. Well... If, no. you, if that was an option. Oops. If that was an option. Stop it. Nothing to loot. What? That was interesting. Hmm. I don't know what, what that was about. Because I went here. Then I went to the right. Then I tried to loot. <gasps> Bug! da 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 so if you go on top of a chest, go to an area. I'm going to try it for going down now. Blocked. Loot. Nothing to loot. Then if you try loot again, no. You have to move away and then go back on it. There we go. Found a bug. Found a bug. Bug hunters. <laughs> yeah, I think... Um, 
This is see if you're paying attention. That's right, man. <laughs> That's right. I might hide. Uh, these is uh projectiles. Yes. Are they? I always forget. Oh yeah, hell rabbits. Yeah. So hide till they come close. Hide. Hide. Oh. And then and then I might I might close close the gap. Yeah. Okay. Come on, rabbit, get in on it. You definitely want to knock over Basket. just because they get, they get they're doubled up. Uh. So I would recommend dodging over. Yeah, you can still hit me, and then I have to go down. Ugh, so annoying. But he can't shoot at me. No, so that's good. There we go. Yes, yeah. Use the blocking to your Hell advantage. Hell yeah. You just don't want two ranged attacks hitting you per round. I have six hit points. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna have to use it. How and much there. did it heal you? Uh, full. Oh yeah, you should definitely be using using this way more. They're fifty. Well, fifty is nothing, man. Yeah. Compared to losing like all your fucking. Well, yeah. <laughs> Compared oh to... yeah, that's for sure. Losing hundreds and hundreds in gold using and all your 1500 weapons. Fifteen hundred gold, yeah. Then that's then... essentially what you lose is fifteen hundred gold. Then then yeah, your your health pots. You should spam those fuckers. <laughs> Okay, dragon, you're gonna Especially be going. Especially if you up got there. seven of them. There's no way to stay in a position, as far as I know. You have to move or hit a wall yeah. at this point. So it's it's convenient when you're near a wall, but eh, nice. Now I can move him in. Yeah. And do some casting. There we go. Just kidding, good find. <laughs> Thank you. So... Oops. Please keep Send. Moving. Yeah. You got, Minotaurs. Sure. You get... It's, it's slower to get gold through fighting. Yeah. But... But at least you get fine. some. Yeah. Which is why he probably doesn't want you to run away. Because <laughs> yeah. you would definitely be doing this. And you would be looting, 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 running, looting, running. Yeah, it's hard because it would just be like, it might actually just, like, you could kind of just breeze through the game. Um, Cause, yep. cause then but you, you can just, fail to run. It's a good point, but then you, you can just try to run again until you... Maybe you can't try and run again. But at least there's an option to oh, run, Yeah, maybe right? having one yeah. flea... To balance it out. At least there's one, so at least you get one roll to, to save you some time. Yeah. And or also, death. Yeah, and it, at least that gives you one chance. Or, you know. Yeah. Just have it an option. Flee. Flee failed. You're done. Well, well what it's you over. could do then is your dexed rating could be could affect your chance to flee. Mm -hmm. So then your dex has some more benefits. And it makes sense, because if you have high dexterity, your chances of dodging and running away and sneaking away is much higher. And so that would that would give you an incentive to play a dex poison. build. Ooh, that's the first time I've been poisoned. And I have no cure poison. Hooray, 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 hooray. <laughs> So poison should be like taking me down in health every X. So I can get um one of the things now. How much was the lower thing? I can get the axe. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. And a cure poison, obviously. Maybe this will help me. So you can't tell if I'm poisoned. Let's see. Oh. Oh, it does cure poison. And gives you all your, uh... Oh, nice. Okay, good. At least that is close by. And you know where it is. So that cures poison and gives you all your, um, magic back. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, now I'm gonna go get one of my things back now. Which should help me in fighting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, what were they? What are these? Giants. Yeah, because I mean, if if dexterity affected uh, your ability to flee, I would then invest at least some points into it. Yeah. So these guys do not have projectiles. If you could write that down, food. On there. Oh, and I need food. I, I'll have enough left over for food. 
They have projectiles? No, they don't. Like, given all these criticisms, they're not really criticisms. They're like, we want this game to be awesome. We yeah, want it's, this just be it's just balancing. Balance. Um, I mean, like, the fact it's incredible, this game. I mean, the fact we've been playing for an hour and we really haven't, like, made it very far at all is, I mean, a classic RPG thing, right? Like, that's, yeah. that is, that's what those these old school games used to be like, that, that you didn't have as many levels, so the game had to be harder because there was less content, so then right. you were forced to really work a lot harder. Yeah. Oh, also there was, um, oh, God damn it. um, there was interference yesterday, and that was my RGB output. Weird. And I've switched over to component. It's clean. It's perfectly clean. So I have to figure out what's going on with my RGB output from my system. So, let's go get the axe and not hit slime with it. Hooray. I think we should build up to to, to zero, and then yeah. we can call it. I think so. But we should at least get our shit back, because <laughs> that's pretty rough. So, we <laughs> discovered things. We didn't progress, but we discovered things. Well, we learned more about the mechanics. Yeah. How much gold do I have left? 236. So we need another 800 and something to be able to afford that. Um, yeah. Oh, and we also need 50 for our sling, so, you know, we need another... You know. I didn't really use the sling, but we need it for the slime. Yeah. Because we can run out of... Um, magic, and then... Magic. And then and it's only 50 gold. Well, let me get so that right now. Yeah, it's not... So I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, because it's not like a super... You may as well get it, I mean, yeah. it's... And I'll get food at the same time. Yeah. In my town. So the sling's over there. I'm just going to heal up before I venture out. Oops. Um, and um, I also found a bug here. If you go to cast yeah. and you exit out, oh, I think it's just during fighting. Um, if you go to cast a wet, um, something, cast a spell during combat and you exit out of cast a spell, the spells stay up on the screen the whole time. Not a big deal. Um, but I reported that yesterday. Okay, so let's just save. And let's get our ranged weapon two people here no 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 i think does that replace if I you bet bought it, a mace i it, bet it would man I bet it i'd would. be really surprised i like it maces didn't. better mm. so much better there we go and some food which is over here it's kind of nice having only two places because you memorize the, the whole the map closer. Probably 40. That's good. Now I gotta get 900 gold. And that will be it for today. We'll probably find out some more things on the way. Oh, yeah. points, yes. Purified. It's probably why it's there, because casting the sun is uses seven spell points, which is not small. It's not big, but it's not small. Nice. Nothing to loot. Oops, I accidentally <laughs> moved against the wall. A trap. But I evaded it, because I'm that good. Oh, no, I'm not. Twelve gold. You see what I mean? More hard points, health is, is generally stronger, because, yeah. you know... Just yeah. having the extra health is always good. It is. It's, it's just always there for you. Oh, no, these are projectile? No, they're not. I don't think oh, so. Okay. No. I always think because it's like they have, they're going to spin the web at me. That's right. Get in a line. Oh, why do I do that? Now they're against me. Strength dominates. Oh yeah, so especially against good. spiders. Yeah. And exit out. Oops. It's good the default is not to go to the next level.
the default is to loot. That is good. <laughs> you really do have to think about what your defaults are. Oh, yeah. Because you want to make it the thing that you want to do a lot, but don't want to do accidentally. Like, he's made the ladders no. Um, because you walk over it, and if you're, like, pressing the button... Um, I just keep forgetting. Oh, they're fine. Okay. Basically, the only ones that have range are the rabbits on this level. Okay. Which so, is very strange. Yeah, so rabbits are the only thing... Why is my hit points 13? Oh, I've been opening too many chests. Yeah. Damn it. But you can also just use one of those health potions. I mean, 50 gold is not the end of the world. It's not... It's... I mean, keep, annoying, a, I mean keep an eye on it, but I mean, yeah. the reality is, is like two fights, you're going to get 50 gold. Yeah, that's true. And I'm very safe, like when they're close. I would say the lesson, if there is any for the next one, is you should use your health, your health potions way more. Yeah. That is for sure. Come on, dragon. Be the tank. That's right. Right. Uh, wording. Oh, yeah. He's the tank? The tank, for sure. <laughs> Absorb all the damage. Yeah, the tank is the... Oh, I don't have small points. Close the up. glass cannon is your damage dealer that can't take any damage. Ah. It's like, like glass. Don't hit me. <laughs> exactly, your glass cannon, which glass is a real cannon. advantage to having it. I mean, in party D&D, &D, um, you know, you typically will have a spellcaster that can do a shit ton of damage, yeah. but can't take a lot um mm. so then so then you kind of hide them keep them back protect them heal them exactly i mean the masterpiece is the baldur's gate like that's the that's the fucking like baldur's gate <laughs> baldur's gate 2 like holy shit is that like the like world pretty i don't know if we'll, we'll have an rpg as good as that because like it's it was just so balanced and so, so refined it was so pure it was just it was advanced dungeons and dragons and it was really nice because it had like so these guys are ranged so you probably want to just let them come to you hang back yeah uh, yeah let them come to me like totally that's what i do yeah. and luckily i'm right behind things so let's see what I'm they pretty do. happy i'll just stay right here Actually, do I need to heal with my dragon right now? I might move. Yeah, I do. I might move up one. Yeah, I'm gonna do a heal. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Yeah, and one then... of them's coming. I'll wait. To see what he does. He's gonna come down. And now I might move into it. If yeah. I move down, he'll do a diagonal to me. Oh yeah, do that. So that See way that, I can. And then you, and then that guy up hit. top is guaranteed. Yeah. Tactics. Knew it. There we go. That's the way to do it. And dead. And then I just lead him out. If I move to the left. Exactly. Now. And I might do the same with your dragon to draw some guys out. Yeah, like just over there. Yeah. There we go. Now we're on the move. And now high. Yeah. Now move in. Move in. Okay, we're safe, we're good. That should be a kill. Hell yeah. And if I do it again, he should do a diagonal. There we go. And now I would just fight them. Yep. And I would move your guy up so he can like, yeah. Maybe able to draw that guy out, but I don't I don't know. Miss. Yeah, your dragon can just take double hits. It's no big yeah, deal. It is. I've already healed the party. Yeah. I could I could No, if I move up. Ooh, what I could do is move back and then up, and he may come out. I do it, though. I'm doing fine. Yeah. Uh, I might move your dragon in. Yeah. Oh, I could have moved him over. And... We're, all, we're all good. He's still alive. Oh, yeah. And then I move your guy up and just mm. range him. Oh, yeah, he doesn't... Damn it. Yeah, so I got him. Yep, you have to know game mechanics. How they all work. So we're at 516. Yeah. We're not bad. We're getting there. Well, a couple um, more trips in and out. Yeah, and and so the one of the things about you know what makes Baldur's Gate so incredible is that you have a party of six that you can manage, and there's like 
15 characters you can meet so you get to pick your party and so there's mm. and then there's up there is a dynamics between them so like there are evil characters there are good characters so you can can't have an evil and a good character in the same party but you can but eventually they'll start fighting each other and if you make certain decisions <laughs> uh, people will leave like it's a very good game wow um and also the other amazing part about it is that it's scaled so there's uh, sorry it's it's locked in so there's no it doesn't level with you um, right. so there's like there's like for example like you'll be like early on you'll be like hanging out in like a tavern and you go upstairs into a room and like they they kind of like there's like a party of people there and they're like leave and you're like no no and then if you go enough this is like on your first level they'll just fucking murder you and you're like oh I can't do anything but what's really cool is that later then when you go back you can go oh yeah I want to go back there and then when you're tougher you can go back and kill them uh, so it's kind of it, it, it makes you want to keep playing I, I like those sectioned off areas where it doesn't scale with you and there's like and then it's classic D&D &D, so there's things like mind flares that will like possess your party and all of a sudden now one of your party members is attacking you <laughs> so you need to figure out what to do about it like it's a really it's a really amazing game wow um and what's so beautiful about it too is it has a really great story like it's kind of like mm. and, and all every character has an opinion about everything that's happening so you can wow. even just talk to your guys and and there's all kinds of towns and everything you can go to and like but that was um bioware's first game Oh. Um, and they went on to do the Mass Effect series. They went on to make Dragon Age. Hit it out of the park on the first go. Yeah, but it's all based off of the D and D game they played right. as as kids, right? So, so there's a good basis in college. That they came from. Yeah, and they were just a bunch of guys hanging out playing imagination, and you know, and then you got to see really like as Mass Effect evolved and 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 Bioware kind of like dissolved. I mean, they just turned into kind of mainstream action games and. What was really cool was to be able to like play these this kind of just like a classic story game because i think that's like ultimately like character and story is a huge part of rpgs and why i love them i mean i like i like the characters the story and the and the builds those are the things that really mm. and then tactics as well i mean it's fun to and like for example like uh there's a dragon in Baldur's gate that is almost impossible to kill um and you can get like a really 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 powerful sword and what's so cool about it mm. is um, you get to, like, uh, if you can kill the dragon, but you don't have to fight the dragon directly. Like, how I always killed the dragon was you can do, you can take all your spell, all your mages, and cast a spells to lower his ratings, and then you can cast a specific spell that turns him into a chicken. <laughs> and if you manage to pull it off, then you just kill the chicken, and you've killed this dragon. So right. it's cool that there's more so it's than... it's a workaround. Yeah, so there's more than one way to solve a problem, and you don't ever have to kill the dragon. Dragon. And the dragon oh. just gives you one cool sword, and that's it. So it's not like, and he's at the end of like a like a really powerful dungeon. And so you can come back and kill him at any point. And he has opinions about everything that's going on because he's a powerful dragon. So, so there's really, a lot of writing. So much in, writing. In the game. Yeah. But the but what's cool is there wasn't that much voice acting. So um, well, that allows for more writing because yeah. if you have voice act games that have voice acting tend not to have a lot of it because it's a lot of work. And, and it's just, Especially with lots of branches. Oh my God. And there's fun jokes. Like you go into town on this guy named Nuber. And Nuber follows you around and he goes, Hey, hey, I got a question. Hey, hey, can you... Hey, and like you literally have to like run away from him because he'll just keep pursuing you. And eventually like you can just kill him. And be like... Because he, oh, he's man. just constantly like yammering at you. It's just cool that developers have like a little fun joke like that in the middle of their yeah. game, you know. Love how the older games could be had for cheap on good old games these days. Yeah, yes. and they did a remastering of it that's amazing. And Baldur's Gate is incredible, and Baldur's Gate 2 is even better. But what's cool is that um, if you play your character through Baldur's Gate 1, you can carry them over to Baldur's Gate 2. Um, so it's actually... And there's a continuity between them. So what's really cool is it is like playing a continuation of it, you know? Mm -hmm. That is very cool. And... I mean, it was suggested a while ago, like, for this game, you could take your character that you've developed in this game and put it into part two of this game if or when he, Carl G, makes it. Hell yeah. Because it's stored on the the Atari box. And, um, and there were a whole bunch of cool expansions and stuff. And just, you know, old school stuff you don't see often. Like, for example, like, your character is fighting, like, a basilisk, and the basilisk could just turn one of your guys into stone. And if you don't have, like, a turn stone spell, you're fucked. You gotta uh, yeah. reload. 
Yeah, yeah. And just not fight that level, and then you. So you got to know what you're getting into possibly beforehand, and, and definitely be prepared for that. Uh, Sixteen health points. I need to heal. And it was pause and play. Um, like that. Oh, not like this. Not like this. It's not so, turn based, but pause and play. So like you, so you can do it by each turn, or if you just don't, your guys will automatically do it. But you pause, and then you choose what all six guys are gonna do. Right. So what you re jig your attack and defense yeah and so when things system. are really squirrely you're like pause one hit unpause <laughs> you figure your shit out you know yeah and then that's fun because then you move guys back and then move some people in forward and you mm. can it, it really does feel like you're having like a real combat um and there's a there's been remakes of it like pillars of eternity and all kinds of stuff too mm. um but i love like using it. the same engine using just the same like concept it's not exactly the same engine it's like upgraded engine but it's I'm the same it's problem with grinding. <laughs> oh, I'm almost there. I'm almost got 900 yeah, you're gold. So close. Something. So, so that's good. Come on. But there's not as much interest in classic D and D stuff, um, really anymore. Mm. Like there's not. They want uh, new worlds. Yeah, not, people. Oh, it's it's D and D again, right? They yeah. want a new environment, new stories. Well, and because D and D is not like I mean, you have to invest in understanding the system, which is not something that everyone is attracted to. I love right. it, but it's not everyone's thing, right? And there's an assumption going into these types of games that you have a background a little bit in it. Or if or, you, oh, I did already loot them. Or if you don't have a background, you better learn quick. Right. Um. Oops. No. No. Okay, fill up those chests. Come on, guys. 8.58. We're almost, almost back to where we started. <laughs> oh, I messed up. And um, you should really build an attachment to your character, you oh, know. I'll show you what happens. Cast. Then you're on spells, but you can back out of it by unselecting something. Oh, what? And now you just don't have a HUD? No, it just, it was doing something else. I think I'm doing it a different way now. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, Carl, if you want to, you know, play the best rpg that there is for game <laughs> for consoles is probably the one right i mean there's lots of other like there's different lanes of of rpgs for sure like action rpgs is something i love and that's you know other ones dominate that and you know um you well, know there's spells yes yeah. so spells stay up um jrpgs are kind of their own deal you know yeah but in that type of game that's the king yeah and in, in, in just an old school, like, really, the and it's it's certainly the best adaptation of sort of D&D, &D, you know, real hardcore D&D &D to, um, like, like a video game. Mm. Like if you want to experience what it's like to play, like, a real D&D &D game, that's the closest that there is. That's cool. Which is really fun. Um, so now I have... No, don't attack. All the money I need now. Well... To get, I don't have the money for the uh, healing spells, but I have two already, so I'm fine. And if someone dies, they're dead forever. Oh, like the people you bring onto your party? It's like, no, you're not getting them again. They're not being resurrected. It's a lot of reloading. You can play a hardcore <laughs> version where you don't reload, but you can definitely reload your saves as much as you want. And you just, mm. you'll do that a lot because very quickly you're just like, <laughs> F this. <laughs> yeah, because it's like. Because you'll, you'll, you'll go into a sewer and all of a sudden you get swarmed and poisoned and dead. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you okay. yeah, the battlefield's much bigger when you're he out said here. said my way was too hard. It's true. So, do heal because I need it. There we go. So, what do you think? I think the death penalty is too hard. Like, look at how much work we had to do to get back to where we were when we first started. 
Yeah, and I probably just would like go do something else. Like half an hour, 45 minutes? Probably just go do something else yeah. if that happened. Um, so it's just... It's uh, what, what I would probably do is... Penalizing. I would go do something else, and then I'd come back to the game and yeah. level up back from one. Because it's... You know what yeah. I mean? It's more... It would be more fun to, to do that. You know, I would... and uh, But it, but it's hard to know. So I think losing all your gold, fine. Losing, losing all your potions, Your potions, totally fine. fine. But your weapons, that's just too much of a penalty because they're really expensive. Even, like, you could lose... Even, like... Even like your weapons, like your armor, that's a rough one. Like if, even if you just kept your armor, because that's 900 gold, you don't have to. Yeah. You know, because because getting 400, I'd say either keep the armor or keep both probably. I got the heads. What are these guys like? These guys can teleport and have ranged attacks, I believe. Cool. The heads. Show me what you got. Yeah, they have projectiles, <laughs> so you want to close in on them, but stay out of their way. Fucking yes. So, now he's closed in on him. That's fine. Damn. I don't want to be in the line. That guy is going to get wrecked. <laughs> the dragon? Yeah. yeah. But So, now just move him out of the way. So, it's kind of like chess. You're like, you can't... You can be this way, and don't be this way and this way, but you can be this way on him. So if I move down, I don't want to be hit, though. Move over. No fight. But they can move. So that's good. That's actually good. Move there. Oh, you bastard. Don't move back there. No, I'll get him one at a time. There we go. That's what I want. Haha. <laughs> These aren't too bad. You just have to know how to move yeah, properly. Yeah, you just gotta, like... Yeah. Gotta know your tactics. Yeah, too harsh, Miss Command says. And you said my way was too harsh. Gate sounds fun, yeah. Man. Yeah. Hi highly recommend it. It's so cheap on Steam, I think. And... Yeah. Okay, so let's get that uh, weapon. Get my mace back. Axe back, I mean. Marino, I have my armor. No, you don't. You have a weapon, no armor. You can check, but I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the armor that's really expensive. Yeah. Which is usually the case in most games. It makes sense. I mean, yeah. it's how much metal has gone together. To make. Ah. Back to... Back to... Oh, I can level up. Should I level up, Carl G? See if you can. I would love to see if we can. I don't think you'll be able to, though. He said six is maximum. Totally, so I bet you we're like eight. I'm going to wait for him to say something, though. Because he said six is max. Um, I'd say go save, no matter what. Save first, while I wait for him to answer. And then You, you can, can try. I'm going to save. Yeah, let's save first. <laughs> and then uh, I just don't think it'll work. Because I swear in one of the builds, he let me level up to, like, to level ten. And I just got destroyed because I didn't have weapons to match it. Yeah. Like you could just level, 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 level. And it did had no check. You can try. Let's find out. I think it won't let us. Let's find out. Welcome. Find the other trainers. Ah. Uh, so she can only level up you to six. That's smart. You have to go find That's some it. good programming, man. That's That keeps that's, immersion. And that's yeah. what you want to do. You want quests. You want riddles. You want puzzles. Yeah. Maybe it's Rufus. No. <laughs> it's not Rufus. Maybe it's you. Oops. Seek the magics. I already have. Excellent. Oh, boy. We learned some things today. Oh, hell yeah. And we learned how to fight a bunch of enemies, which is totally. good. And uh, which will make it a lot easier and a lot less deaths. We learned some tactics on how to fight di different enemies. When to use heal when to use your potions, everything like that. 100% super, super awesome, Carl G. Hell I hope yeah, man. this helped um, do some game balancing. The deaths are way too harsh. It took, I don't know how long that took. I think that was half hour. Half, uh, maybe a bit longer, at least half an hour, probably 45. Um, that's a bit daunting, like, it makes, like you said, it makes you want to like, uh, I'm going to come back to this. 
that's a bit much. Yeah, you can heal mid-fight, um, so that's where we yeah. should have used more potions. But that's okay, that's on us. Yeah, when you're way down and you've already used your dragon heal... You just pop a potion, you yeah. know, and that's... 50? At this level, 50 is not nothing. Good. Especially with the opening the chest. That's four chests. Well, And compared to, like... Um, or even two, three chests. Yeah, if you're doing well. Um, but no, it's like... Uh, but also, you want to keep in mind that, like, you want to have a harsh game. But the yeah. reality is, is repeating the same thing over and over again. I, it doesn't matter who you are. It's just at a certain point, you're going to lose interest. So, I mean, the two things that would make this game um, less hard but more fun and maybe a bit more casual is the ability to flee would definitely yes. help. Adds a whole new dynamic. And giving it like a one shot so that you can't just repeat it makes yeah. sense. And I would make your dexterity um, increase your ability to flee to encourage more dexed builds. Because right now dexterity, yeah. the fact that it only affects traps and your ranged attacks, I would never invest in dexterity. I would. we haven't used ranged attacks. The no. only time is slime. That's and and it. so this is where if we rebuilt this character, I would ditch dexterity, uh -huh. either do strength or intelligence because giving yourselves more of a ranged i probably i probably do um intelligence because that tends mm. to help with swapping that helps with all kinds of stuff or giving yourself Your race spell yeah. but but if you had the ability to flee then i would stick with the build we had because yes. then it's nice to have some sort of balance and then yeah. i would say that like um uh, making it when you die, you lose your gold and, and health potions and not your a weapon and armor yeah. would would encourage me to want to keep playing because I would say my interest in like grinding hit a wall after three times of going in and out of that dungeon, yeah. which was about the amount that you would need to get your potions back. And right now the chests are the best way to grind and that's very repetitive. Even fighting can be repetitive too. Um, so any kind of grinding is in like, uh, in D and uh, D, your stats affect the dragon's abilities too. I'd I'd, I'd love yeah. to know how they do that. It, that would something be cool to put in your manual. Yeah. Um, like what is the breath though? Is the breath int and dex? Is it just dex? Is it int? I'm guessing it's just int, because it is a spell. Is it no, a spell it's a, though? It's a ra yeah. It it's might be it, just it, a just, range. Just I'd love to know that a yeah. permanent ranged weapon. Because if that's dex, then that would change my. I don't think it is a spell. Like. Like, it may be the way he programmed But then it, what but... is... In, then Int would affect your heal, maybe. You know, just yeah. be nice to know what those correlate to, because that would help me with my stat alignment. Yeah. And I would say one of the rules of, like, running a D&D &D campaign, for example, is that if you repeat... More, if you're in combat and you're repeating the same action more than four times, your mm. engagement in that room is fucking dips yeah. so if, if i'm running a campaign and i and i and someone's doing the same thing oh, four times okay. i would look at that and go okay we got to switch it up and so the problem with the grinding is that right now we need to do that grind i would say 10 times mm. which is maybe way beyond the threshold of most people's patience versus grinding to get back your potions that was about three four yeah. which i'd say is about it's fine yeah, yeah i would keep playing your game i would probably stop playing it if it was like it is now where yeah. you lose everything you start yeah, from well, zero. Yeah, well, I just go do some other shit. Um, no. Versus if it was like, oh fuck, that sucks. But okay, I got, I can go do this three more times, get my stuff Build back. Build back up. I'm good again. And go back yeah. in, you know, and it would just encourage. Um, and then and now as the level cap increases, and you know, it'll add more dimensions. But I'd say that's the. So, in terms of stats, would you want what you're kind of encouraging so that all stats are useful, but for different things Yeah. and never undervalue a stat so that for sure, if people want to concentrate on strength, they can, but there's a way to concentrate on any one of those. Yeah. And it's like, Oh, you want intelligence? You can be a person that is good with the intelligence or you can be a person who's good with the, yeah. the strength. Because having a pure, um, because then what you could do if you were doing like a pure dext and int build would be, you would then maybe like, it would be way more RNG, but you would then be able to do a lot more damage and use your um, dragon a lot more, and then you would flee from the hardest ones. Mm. So you would go like, oh, these slimes are here, I'm fleeing. Oh, there's a thing here, I'm fleeing. Because your yeah. dex, because if you have a better roll with a higher dex, then you would be able to, and that, and it would be more like stealthing the game. It would be more like you sneak into this dungeon and you're right. like running away from the creatures. And But then if you're locked in, then you're a bit more fucked, but maybe you're okay because you can handle one or two. There'd be a more of a balance to it, but mm -hmm. like the moment Dext is, you know, I wouldn't say useless, but like 
I mean, it's so underpowered. And the reality... Underused. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's like, even if I, like, get a few traps, it's better to have health. Yep, so they can absorb it. And yeah. better to have intelligence so I can, like, do it, so... Yeah. And especially because your health potions heal you fully, well, then having more HP is a big deal. Yeah. yeah. In terms of dragging your strength, effect 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 bite. bite, that makes sense. Dragging Dexter hitting with your breath. That makes sense because it's his, range, it's his ranged weapon, breath. right? And the amount he heals. Okay, that makes sense. So uh, yeah, then, you're, okay. then, then your build is probably pretty decent. Um, so that there's something that helps every part of the dragon. Yeah, I'd probably stick with your build then based off of that information. Yeah. Um, uh, and then, yeah, and then if you juiced Dex a little bit more. Um, and, uh, I mean, the other thing, the other thing too is that if you were to invest in, I mean, it depends how item-oriented you want the game to be, but you could, I mean, in D&D, &D, certain armors will have, will help you in different ways so like you could have mm. armor like they, then the like leather magic absorbing armor yeah, yeah or like um the way that it works is the heavier the armor you have uh, the less magic you can do and you can't move as fast in it but you can take more damage so he doesn't have movement points in this game and, and, and that's getting too complicated it but is. like but my thought is i is doubt that, they'd be implemented too because it's no it's hard to do but, it in this type of but i mean like if you wanted to make it so that you could have combinations of armor and weapons that would be more advantageous that might be fun like something that would like juice your dexterity but you could take more damage you but know something that as it is right now you can't store armor or weapons yeah so you'd have to commit to one which makes sense because you, if you commit to a different build like let's say fun? you do yeah. like a dex build and then you get armor that gives you a bunch of more dexterity but you're like way right. but you take a lot more damage but you can hit more with range just so you can build build characters a little bit um, yeah because right now it's kind of like you just get all the best shit and then you just do it <laughs> right yeah there's no there's no building you just there's have really well-rounded character at the moment yeah there's really one well, way to one i'd say that the build you're going with is the objectively best and i yeah. can't imagine doing anything other than that yeah. and I, one of the fun delights i think of rpgs is being able to defeat the game in multiple different ways and I think that'll come with the full game. Right yeah. now, it's the demo. You have limited types of weapons. You have totally limited everything. So when he says, you know, you have 10 weapons, and each of them are kind of different, and this has magic on it, and yeah. et cetera, et cetera, and this, this absorbs magic, this type of armor, then it will totally change the dynamic of the game. You'll have to think ahead of time what kind of character you're going to be building, how much to put it into your stats. Yeah. And that'll really enhance the game with minimal effort. Like yeah. really minimal effort. Like just you're just checking: is this have a magic um, absorption? Is is this weapon does have magic or a plus on this? Yeah. Yeah, like if your leather armor gave you plus ten dexterity, that right? too. Yeah. Well, then all of a sudden now you're like, great, I got this leather armor. If I get hit, I'm gonna take way more damage, but I can dodge traps better. I can yeah. hit better with ranged, and let's say I can have a better chance to flee. But yeah. if I'm trapped in battle, then I gotta play differently. And that's easy to program. It's it's just another little piece of memory that you have to keep on things, and a couple checks. Yeah, that's it. It's fairly um, simple. And then maybe and since this is turn based, there's no timing. There's no time. You can take three passes at something to check something if you don't have enough time to do it. And then getting like robes that give you plus. 10 int but then yeah. if you get hit you're completely fucked <laughs> yeah so but then you with that int you can heal way more with your dragon so then it's like then you just play a little differently so it doesn't take much to very quickly have like you know a kind of a strength based play yeah. an int and a dex which means that i would play this game way more because i'd want to go down the different paths to see oh i want to try to do a dex build i want to do an int build i want to try to do a strength build yeah um, Thrust asks, how is your own game coming along? That's to me. Yeah. Um, I haven't had a lot of time in the past little bit. There's been a bunch of projects that I've had to like intensely work yeah. on. So time has been limited. So as you, what you see in the Atari 8 forums is kind of where I am. I haven't updated it, but the next step is not too bad. I have to expand my play field. I've, I did actually work on it just tiniest, tiniest little bit and added more, uh, set aside more memory for the 
the screen, like the play field that you're going to be working with on the screen. I haven't told anybody what the game is yet. Yeah. So I'm just like, they're like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but yeah, right now it's like, I only have that much memory and it like repeats. The play field just repeats on the screen and I have to make the whole screen the memory. And that's my next quest is doing that. And it's not that hard. I just have to expand the memory, which I've done, and then fill that memory with new play field. And that should take probably half an hour, but it's just been like, go, 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 doing a bunch of other projects. So Another and when I do that, I will post and I'll say, yes, I've completed this because I have a checklist of things, which helps me too. And I keep it updated in the forums. It's like, oh, done that, done that. And I have like seven more steps before I release it on the stream. So another thought I had, um, yep. which could be an interesting thing if you wanted to like add another dimension along the lane of trying to make this more ways to defeat this. Instead of having um, ranged and um, melee attacks, you have a primary and a secondary weapon. So your primary weapon would then be whatever, it's the strongest version of that. So for example, okay. primary weapon would be like an axe, a bow, and like a staff. And then your secondary weapon would be like a sling, a dagger, and like a thing. So what that would mean Why is would that... Why would you want a lesser melee weapon? Like you'd always use your stronger one. No, if you were playing a dext build, then you'd want to get the bow so that you could do your main attack, but then you'd be stuck with a dagger. So that way if you get closed in, you don't do as much damage, but you have a way to actually defeat it. So, oh. And then if you're playing a mage, then you have a staff so you can do a lot of int, but if they close in... Then you can only do, and then if you're a main guy, so that way you could, there would be some benefits to leaning one direction or another. Because yeah. at the moment, you would just get the most powerful everything, which means yes. that you just get a juiced guy, you go in. But yeah. that would make more tactics, because if you lean towards dexterity, then you had like a bow and a dagger, then you could do way right. more ranged attacks, but if they come in, you're fucked. And you wouldn't be able to switch them. Totally, because you have a primary and a secondary. So you basically you'd get like the best. Then you'd have to kind of pick a specialization, and you'd have the uh. opportunity to like in your secondary weapon engage in a form of combat, but it would always be weaker. Mm. So that way you'd go into battle and you'd go, well, I'm going with my dex guy. I'm gonna get my bow and my dagger. If I'm yeah. going with my mage. I'm going with my magical staff and maybe like a dagger That's or a sling. That's very interesting. It's kind of weird that you can't like change them at any point though oh you could like, totally change them i'd say but you would have to not pick mid battle though no not mid battle you have to go back to town but that way you pick a primary and a secondary that does make a lot opens up a lot more tactics. and then if you have um armors that specialize in those areas like let's say your leather armor gives you a bunch of dexterity your your like heavy armor maybe it just it's it absorbs a lot of damage yeah then your robes give you a bunch of intelligence so that way you could kind of play it in because that's classic like rpgs it's like you want to play a rogue a warrior and a mage right now we're playing a hybrid yeah guy rogue I don't, know. I don't i don't know just a warrior but what would be fun is then i would want to play the game more because then the tactics of battle would be different because and you'd be able to specialize and buy certain things and shape your character even from the very beginning totally when you're picking your stats yeah so couldn't the enemies be mixed during attack i i think they definitely could be could be uh mixed um i i don't know how much harder that would be to program but i don't think so it would be in Indeed, add variety, but it would take a lot more RAM during combat. RAM is tight, so I'd have to think on that. Oh, because he would have to store all the animations of each of the characters in RAM. Um, I guess all their um, their stats as well. Because he has to store them in RAM. He can reload them from ROM, but now if he's got like four different characters, he doesn't have enough room to store that information. Maybe you yeah. could have two and two if there's enough room. But that it, would add a lot. Like, like your tactics would have to be completely Well, you changed. could actually play... It would make me want to play the game more. Because, yeah. like, the thing that would be cool about that is that then... Because if you're... if Basically, what you do is you mean... Rather than having ranged and... um, uh, What do you call it? Rather than having ranged and... and melee. And melee, you have primary, secondary. And so yeah. you can only get one... I mean, I guess I, I I don't know how you would work around it, but that would what that would do is is completely add a completely different dimension to it. Because if there's you have d two different types of enemies, one has a ranged weapon and one has to attack you close up, or one of them are like teleporting all over the place. You're like, okay, now I have to stay out of the way of this guy and this guy, and they both have different tactics. Yeah. So if you have room, 
I would definitely start doing that in the higher levels because that would be really interesting. Well, then, and then, and then you could play the game three different ways. Yeah. Jotting down the ideas anyway. Yeah. I mean, if you can implement them and if you have room to implement them and if it makes the game more fun, then that's go for it, right? Yeah. And I think that having, um, uh, and, and you could do it more with items. Like it's, you know, cause your itemization is a way, cause right now you have items and stats. Oh, items can open up a whole world and that's not going to be any more memory than what you have now. Yeah. And that's or a little bit more because you have, you're saying there's some, some well, what, pluses and minuses. But on what it. I would do is have the items affect your stats and that's the way you balance it. So I that, think they do it anyway right now. Like yeah. an ax hits harder than a staff yeah or if you wear this axe now you have 25 strength instead of 15 or you yeah. just a plus 10 to your to your to your stats or let's say like your armor could be one where you could have an armor that then gives you the bonus and then you could figure out different matches like it might be fun to play a warrior who then has the robes that maybe you can plunder dead enemies well well that's that, that's kind of automatically happens at the end yeah. oh you mean for weapons i think that's that's probably going to totally destroy your ram but like yeah, what, I, what i'm suggesting is just basically have the items you buy modify your stats yep. and and try to find a way to make it so that there's a limit to the kinds of items you get because the problem with having just attack ranged and armor is that why wouldn't you just get the best in all of them yeah right now that's how it is playing yeah. i doubt he's going to keep it like that because it's so much more interesting yeah. the other way but anyways um, those are those are my thoughts yep uh, Thrust asks, have you shown something already? No, I haven't even announced what the game is, how it's played. It, I've announced that it is a port of a game. Um, and it's a game I've played a lot. It's really fun. Um, but I've, ne I've never said it on the air because I want to keep it a, yeah. a secret. And, and then after I reveal it, then I'm open to like a lot of help. Yeah. Um, because taking it to the next level is actually a lot harder. But doing the basics of what I have, I think I can do it on my own. I've asked for a little bit of help there, here and there, like randomization. But I, but somebody help me out on that, because that doesn't give away any hints. I need randomization. Well, it could be anything. It's Doom 26. It is. It's Doom 20. No, it's not Doom 2600. Yeah, it's an overhead view of Doom 2600. That's right. I'm using Carl G's engine, actually. You wander around. <laughs> and... <laughs> uh, or healing potions. Like finding healing potions. That'd be fun. Yeah, just like low, 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 low chance. But you can find them. Yeah, and say gold, healing, that would be awesome. Yeah. Or or you could find weapons once in a while. But then there's a weapon inventory. Right now he does not have inventory. There's yeah, but no just inventory. adding like to your, um, or poison yeah. potions too. Like you yeah. could just make it so, yeah, you could have like... Because then also, then it would make me more likely to... I mean, the thing that's nice about finding healing potions is then when you're deep in the dungeon... Oh, it's it, so helpful. Well, then it's actually... A few nice items as loot is a good idea. Yeah. 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 And you can just keep the ones that you got. Yeah. So, yeah, great ideas. And that's that's what this is all about. Yeah, man. It's like testing out the games, especially in this type of game where it's like super beta. It's just the demo. It's not even the real game. Um, it's great to iron these out well beforehand because yeah. this is going to totally change the game later. Like these slight little alterations, that's for sure. Yeah, finding occasional healing potions instead of gold would be cool. Very cool. Potions would be easy. Yeah, you just like, boom, add one to potions. You found a potion. That's it. Yeah. That is the extent of the code. A little bit of text and add a potion instead of gold. So, we'll be playing on... F oh my god, why is that so small? Uh, so, we'll be playing on... Next show is on Friday. Um, I have one game scheduled. It's actually Kabobber. Wow. And that's an Activision game. So, we're going for a high score. And it's actually a homebrew patch that I'll be writing the letter for. Um, you know, you get a letter yeah. when you when you get a patch. And some people are making some patches that have were never made before. And that's one of them. And I've already written two letters. One for checkers and one for boxing. And they're really, really fun to write. Because you write them in like cheesy 80s style. And it's really interesting to write in another kind of kind of copying yeah. another person's voice and it's like just over the top with puns and a lot of alliteration it's just super silly but it's a lot of fun um i had sorry i had one last thought about sure. the itemization stuff if you're worried about ram another way to do it is to have a tier of items above the ones that we have that make it so that they're either arranged or 
melee weapon, but what they do is they make it so that they immediately destroy the the like other one and make it so you can't upgrade. So like let's say you get a sword or you get like a like a battle like a fucking like two-handed sword and what happens is when you buy that sword, whatever your ranged weapon is, you can only play the default. Mm. And then if you buy like a super powered ranged weapon, then it wipes out the primary. So that way you can you don't have to code a bunch of primary secondary bullshit, but it locks you into one form of fighting, uh, but that uh, fighting is exceptional. Hmm. Interesting. I was just trying to think of a way to code it. Kebabber is a prototype. Okay, so it was never released, but it is out there. So that so it's a prototype game with a homebrew patch. It's quite a credit combo. Um uh, is Strum doing the patch artwork? Some. I, I there's your answer. I'm not sure who did patch artwork. And there's a bunch of other patch uh, patches that they're making. Uh, I don't have the list right now, but I'll talk about it on the next show. Um, but I'll be doing all the all the letters for those. Hell yeah. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be lots of fun. So there's Kebobber that needs to be written. And the uh, fishing game that needs to be written. A letter. Those would be pretty easy. The Kebobber awesome. one's just out of control crazy weird game and the fishing one i'll just that's more real world and uh, that'll be fun to do oh yep we got our our, our guy right here he's having a little little bath a little slow bath um so we'll be playing that i think darcy will be here on friday um and then the developer spotlight is the friday after that it's coming up with daryl spice jr the loser patch is hilarious yes and uh nathan strum wrote the letter for the loser patch and i do have that one perfect and i have the fishing patch too um so if you want to get some questions in for the developer uh spotlight on daryl spice jr let me post the link in the uh chat right now one second discussion and there's been some people that have already posted some questions so if you have questions that you want to write out for uh daryl spice jr there's your chance We've got questions from d train and thomas yench already and thank you for tuning in today we played sam 2600 no we didn't we, we listened watched, to, we watched and, and it, listened and i'm gonna be fucking dreaming about that tonight wah, 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 this big face oh. um so that's really really cool and Ooh. i can see people using that in their games because you could do voice acting yeah, okay. <laughs> in, in RPGs. There you go. In only 4K. Terrifying. If you have 4K left. <laughs> uh, yeah, very terrifying. Demonic voices. Well, thank you, Dan. Uh, I said good show today. Um, and we played Space Game 2K by Carl G. That was very fun. Scaled down version, but still yeah. very, very playable. It's like a straight head shooter. Lots of enemies. It's awesome can't say anything that it needs more because yeah. if it ne needed more stuff you just play the big version of it of space game and that's awesome with power-ups and penalt so happy to be playing that Keeps again going. need to see it's super updates. fun cool to see a bit more of the dungeon yeah um and it's coming together yeah and i'd like to delve back into the dungeon at some point again now that we have we know now not how not to die <laughs> as easy yeah. with the slime slime just destroyed us um and i think barring any of that i think we can survive pretty well using the healing potions and using the tactics we learned um yeah loving penalty it's so amazing that this even exists on a 2600 it's out of control um so thanks for tuning in miss command dan abc al nefer thrust 26 carl g of course for making those two games we played today super super awesome uh who else chive 574 Wheels of Fire, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper. Oh, some new names. Flackets. Flackets. Hey, buddy. Hey, Flackets. How's it going? And uh, everybody else who is uh, lurking around, thanks for uh, great feedback as always. Well, that's what we're here for. We want to make good games better. That's right, and great dude. games even better than that. And because we, when they come out in cartridge, we want them the best they can be. And so everybody can enjoy them. And, you know, it's it's a community here. Yeah, man. And we all lift everyone up. We all do our own part here. We try and do our part where play the games, make suggestions, have a little fun. You know, developers do their thing. Artists do their thing. You know, everybody 
makes it all better. It's awesome. Hey, Flackets. And if thank you, for all. Thank for one. And if you guys are ever <laughs> into like going to, into some cool retro RPGs from, from my life, Baldur's Gate and Diablo 1 are probably my two favorite games. Yep. And those are the shit I did. So if you guys are interested in playing something that's a little bit different and like to just check out, I highly recommend them. And I can talk my ass off about all of them. But <laughs> it's how life yep. goes. Yep. Wasted and it's good youth. to draw from other games. It's like, oh, that game had that. We can use this in a maybe scaled down form totally. or a different method. So that it can enhance I, this I, game. And I think those are the coolest RPGs I've touched in my life. Yeah. Well, those yeah. series. I mean, I played a lot of Ultima, so this yeah. is all very familiar. And I'm like, oh, put this in from the Ultimas, from the other Ultimas. But this has total spirit of Ultima. It's oh, hell yeah. It's so awesome to be playing it again. And that's it's, a tough thing about me playing the generation above all this stuff. Because I'm just used to a lot more complexity and a lot more yeah. stuff. And then the problem is, is like being a fucking dm like the problem is is <laughs> like memorizing 3.0 D D has destroyed my uh <laughs> you pushed a lot of other stuff out of your brain to, to yeah well it's it just my that. it's just my the level of complexity that i that i crave in a um mm. rpg although I, I do love the elegance of of much simpler rpgs but um but i just yeah like that's that's my shit awesome um so i think that's it for today i'm glad it held it held fine um at a lower bit rate we're only uh broadcasting at one megabit per second but uh it held at one megabit per second which was awesome but yeah. i still i still need to phone again and just my solidify. isp and get them to do something more Ooh, uh, but uh we'll see you on friday thanks for hanging out with us and uh we'll see you again Bye-bye. bye bye